Welcome, welcome, welcome. It has it has been a hot minute. We have had a series of cancellations and stuff like that, but man, I tell you guys, it has been it has been something to finally get live and actually start doing uh, start doing PC builds again. And thank you very much. It's my happy birthday stream. I told you guys we'd basically do it. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be the build that it was. I mean, originally the hope was to actually have that amazing um, that amazing. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 build, but that's happening on Tuesday. You're definitely gonna wanna tune in on that because Tuesday we're gonna be giving away a Origin PC laptop live on stream and then you're entered to, you can enter to win uh, that amazing desktop processor. I mean, that amazing desktop system from uh, Blue Horse Studios. Um, we also have like some, we have a Montech King build you guys have been asking for. We've got the Project Zero build that still hasn't been done. We got all sorts of builds that we haven't been able to do because of CES and then of course me hanging out with Lee and Lee in Taipei um, and all that sort of stuff. So it's been crazy, but I wanted to basically, I, I wanted to basically, hey, a hype train guys. Thank you very much, we got a hype train already. Remember, guys, let's see how much hype can we get for my birthday? That's what I wanna see. Because if we get to level five, remember $25 new gift card. If we get to level 10, 100 bucks, and I'm giving away a CPU anyway. So we're gonna be giving away a CPU as a celebration for my birthday and so much more. But I don't know, man, maybe if we get to level you know, 12 or 13, we'll double the prizes and give away two 7800X 3Ds. But let's see what happens. We're trying to make it, uh, we're trying to catch up because we still gotta get where this is our last month for uh, the, um, the Partner Plus. We're at 258 of 350 points. So everything helps, guys. A huge shout out to Hidden Attribute. Sergeant Nobody, uh, B Mock, Jimmy Kebab, Org Chaos, and everybody who's subbed already, guys. You guys are, are making it happen. So let's see what we can do. And remember, you guys, not only does it give you extra entries towards the PC that we're going to be do giving the laptop that we're going to be giving away, it also gives you access to the Spider Man across the Spider Verse. Remember, we added this because we upgraded to a 4070 Ti. So we have the Spider Man GPU that we're going to go in there. Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll put that in at the very end and show that off because this is the sub only giveaway for the month of January. And as long as you were October, November, uh, sorry, November, December, and January, you're entered to win this thing. So you're going to get extra entries for that. Every gifted sub gives you extra entries, which is awesome. So that's also up for grabs. Uh, and then, like I said, if we get to level 13, 12 or 13, we'll double it and give away two 7800X 3Ds today. So we're, we're going through there. We just hit level four and keep it going. But thank you very much for being here, guys. This stream is gonna be interesting because we're doing stuff inside of the Encore 100. This is a brand new, this is kind of, sorry, yeah. This is like the NR200P, like the, their replacement. It's not gonna take long to build in, but there's Jimmy Kabax. Thank you very much for the 10 more gifted subs. Um, but uh, this build's not gonna take very long. But then I've said that before and then it's gone terribly. So maybe it will, but we're gonna get this and then we'll get the new GPU inside of this and we'll show this off as well. So we'll have two builds that we'll kind of play with today. And I'll show you this amazing Spider-Man PC that's up for grabs uh, for the month of, uh, for the, for the uh, sub only giveaway. Motub, thank you very much for the sub. And there we are guys, $25 new aid gift card unlocked now. Let's go for level 10 because level 10 will get us that $100. And then also, if we get to 50, then that'll unlock the other $50 new gift card too. So we'll do, we'll upgrade this one. I, let me go get the GPU. Now I think the GPU's here. Hold on, let me go make sure. I think I have the GPU's here. Keep it going, keep the hype going. I'm gonna go see if I can find the GPU for this other PC. Cause I don't, I, that's a good, it's a good call. We should do that. I saw it, I saw it in here. If not, I, I will go get it. It's, but I think it's here. I think it's, it might be in the other room. 4070 Ti. I swear it's around here. There's so many, so much stuff, guys. Keep the height going, guys. Keep the height going. I'll look in here. 4080. Maybe it's here. In here. 4060 Ti. Oh, here it is. Yes. Cool. There it is. I found it. So we'll put the Spider-Man, so we'll do this today too. We'll put the Spider-Man GPU from Zotac inside of it. So 
We'll actually have that as well. How are we doing, guys? Level six, Sharkashe, Speed Race, Motub as well. Let's keep it going, guys, because we'll do this today too, is put this inside of this rig to make it the ultimate Spider-Man build. And then we'll show that off and get that updated and stuff. Is it? Oh, we've done supers. We got supers. We've got, we got the 40. I have the, if you guys want to see it, I'll show it today. Um, wait, how much are we doing today? Two builds and it, so two build, no, one build. And then we're going to up, get the GPU back in this. So we, we've upgraded this to a different system. And then if you guys want to see the 4070 Ti, we can do that too, um, as well. Uh, man, I just noticed your Halo helmet. That thing is amazing. And that is, it's actually not, it's community members' signatures. It was our, it was, uh, we did it for when I worked on Halo and had, uh, had on my community. I was the director of player voice for Halo Infinite. So that's what that's for. So let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep the, uh, let's keep the hype going and, and get it up there and we'll give away more stuff. There is not a 4090 super duper super, no, unfortunately. So uh, just what happened, so the 011, we, uh, we had to replace the motherboard. So we got a new MOBO when we were doing our testing. The MOBO came in um, and we wanted to make sure that it was good. So we're basically testing that. So that'll be early next week. So we just got, that's what happened. Justin Jam giving up a tier one. So let me tell you about the giveaways again. First and foremost, we get 250 likes at YouTube, which is free. Head over to youtube.com slash live, hit that thumbs up button. That'll give away a, that'll get you a $25 new gift card unlocked. Uh, if we get a level five hype train, which you've already unlocked, that'll give a $25 new gift card. If we get 50 subs, that'll become a $50 new gift card, 100 subs, $100 new gift card, and it climbs from there. Then we have this one. If we get to level 10 hype train, which we're at level six, we'll give away $100. If we get to level 13, we'll give away a second 7800X3D today. And then over here, we have this sub only system. Maybe we start with, maybe we should start with this. Yeah, I had an ROG board. Yes, yes, I know. ROG and AM5. Do you guys want to start with this? Do you want me to show you the build that we're giving away today? Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we start with this and then we'll move over to this other rig. So we'll start with this Spider-Man system since this is what you guys are getting. And we'll upgrade this real quick and get it in there so you guys can see what you're eligible to win. This system was also done by Blue Horse Studios. We did it in partnership with Zotac uh, as a... Uh, as a giveaway, I mean, sorry, as a uh, part of promoting their system. So let me shut this down and then we'll upgrade it and then I'll show you guys, we'll do the full build and you guys can see the whole thing. Jimmy Kabaz dropping another 10 gifted subs, getting us to the next tier. Dude, Jimmy, thank you very much. This is, this is trying to make my birthday awesome. So thank you very much for all this stuff, guys. Um, yeah, so we're gonna show it off, put the GPU in it finally. And then it'll, you guys will see the full system. Yeah, so let's start with that and then we'll get to the uh, new build because this, this new build is not going to take very long. Okay, it's powered down. You guys ready for this? Because I'll be honest, guys, this rig, this rig looks so good. And I don't think we've ever shown it. Oops, so I want to show it. I want to show it because it's pretty magical. Ugh. So here is the back of it. So it is a Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse system. So it's completely customized for Spider-Man that we did right there. So there it is. And then even you have it on the inside as well with the Spider-Man as well. So we have the whole thing all Spider-Manned out. And then what we need to do real quick is we need to put the um, GPU inside of it. So we'll get that in right now. Yeah, it is sick. And this is the sub, like a cool, fully custom system is the sub. And there you go, you get the Roby Tech and Spider-Man logo. This fully custom build is up for grabs for the three months. So as long as you, and if you want to get extra entries, gifted subs like Jimmy's doing, that's the, that gives you at one entry for every sub, uh, every gifted sub. So this is like a good way to do it. So let me go ahead and let's pop the GPU in it and make it complete. Because we had it match the whole thing too. So if you want to get in on this, all you got to do is drop your prime sub. That's one entry. Your tier one, that's three. Tier two, that's five. Tier three, that's 10. And then every gifted sub is an additional entry. So, and then uh, let's get a link. Uh, Blondie, I don't know if you could quickly pull the specs for the Spider-Man build real quick. We can get, if it, it's, uh, it's in the description. And except for, I did update it, so it's now 4070 Ti. <sighs> No, the drawing for this is not going to be on the stream. The drawing for this is sub only, so it'll be drawn at the beginning of February. 
You don't, actually you don't want to vertically mount it because the graphic, the, uh, the graphic is on the back plate. So you want to horizontally mount it. Yeah. And then we also put like Zotac stickers on all sorts of stuff. BMOC dropping 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much, BMOC. Yeah, you wanna be able to see the top, because the top, these have special back plates, and you'll be getting the, also the winner of this, also gets the Spider-Man press kit that came as well. So you actually get uh, some stuff that's, uh, you get some stuff that you nobody else will ever see the light of day. It was just to those of us who are pressed. So here's the box for it, and you will be getting the box with the GPU and stuff like that. <clears throat> so, and then inside, this is the back plate. So this is the back plate for it. Guys, we're level seven. Let's just get this last level seven. Remember, we're getting close. So here's the back plate for it. And then we also have these ridiculous, really cool stickers that you'll get to keep as well. And then here's all the extra stuff that comes with. So it comes with, this is a little mini Zotac figure. It's got a uh, bag, and then it's got a bunch of other additional stickers it comes with. But we're gonna take out the GPU real quick. <clears throat> Yes, for this one, yes, you need to be subscribed. For the, the 7800X3D, it's, it's available to anybody. This is the sub-only build. We're just showing it off first. We haven't given it a while, no, knockout. That drawing is in Janu is in uh, in February. All you gotta do, drop your prime sub. That's your free entry right there. Just drop your prime sub, and then you're going like that. So, and the subscription is not expensive, guys, but prime, if you have Amazon Prime, Guys, one minute. Somebody's just got to get us to level seven, so then we'll have more time. <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do right now, Moxie dropping one gifted sub. We're getting there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the stickers to it. <clears throat> Ander, I can definitely try. 30 seconds, guys, we're at 90%. Somebody just, it's like one tier one sub, one tier three sub. We'll take us to the next one, we have more time. Somebody said, there we go, Jimmy dropping, there it is. Max Sandwich getting us in there. Now we're at the next one, Gordon, uh, Dr Gordante dropping it as well. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna grab our stickers, which I, oh good, I did take out. Okay, so we're gonna use the red ones on here. And then don't worry guys, we'll get to the other, we'll get to the other build today. And then don't forget, we are giving away 7800X 3D. You do not need to be subbed for that. Subscribers get extra entry, so subscribing is worth it, but you do not need to be a sub to enter the 7800X 3D gift uh, birthday kind of thing today as well. So, um, and then if we get to level 10, which is two levels away, then we'll give away a hundred bucks. And then if we get to level, uh, if we get to level 13, we'll give away a second 7800X 3D. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, let's do the purple. I think the purple, if you look at the side thing here, I think the purple will actually, uh, will actually sit there and get this, will look better with this. So we'll do the purple for the top down on this, for the Spider-Man things. <sighs> yeah, bring out the purple in the case. If I can get the stickers off, what the deuce? I know I've done this once. There we go, okay, got one. It's not PNY, it's Zotac. So I'll make sure these are straight. This is where all the Lego that I do is gonna come in handy. Three minutes and 21 seconds, guys, to get to like, we're so close to level 10. There we go, perfect. That looks good. Next one. Uh, the main build, yes, we're using PNY for the main build. Yeah, PNY 4090. Okay, here's the next one right here. We can do it, guys. Remember, if you want to get extra, extra entries and then also extra entries towards winning that Cyberpunk uh, PC, also the laptop we're giving away on Tuesday, which is just going to be given away on stream, this all helps. So drop in subs, using your Prime sub at least gets you in for that stuff. Two minutes and 34 seconds, guys. Oh, we're at 64. I got to update the thing.
There we go. Okay, so now that's all labeled. Yeah, I like that. I like it's just a nice touch that you can customize based on what you want to see. There we go. Okay, so we got all that out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do our peels here. One minute, 49 seconds, Shenmue. That's a great game, by the way. Speaking of that, I, so, I don't know if you guys saw the uh, Intel morning show, but I started playing the Yakuza games and then immediately went home and downloaded the new, the other ones, and I've already got like eight hours in them. They're so good. So, there we go. Okay, so there is the card. And then on the other side, you just take the back plate. And there we go, now it's Spider-Man, so it's ready for that. And then what we're gonna do is go to the side here. Killer Dudes, subscribe with Prime. Thank you very much, guys. One minute, we got 50%, we're getting there. We can do it. You guys can make magic happen. Ugh. Okay, let's go to top down. We've upgraded this from the uh, previous one to be more awesome. Yeah, I'll hold up the GPU here in a second, guys. So here's the actual full GPU now with the back plate and then the stickers and everything. So it's all ready for me to pop in here. No, it's just it's just special versions of the Zotac card. So here we go. I'm going to I'm going to make this even more special, guys. I actually had here's what I'll do. And we have a minute. So 13 seconds. Oh, I don't know if maybe, maybe we'll do it for a second hype train if we get there. I have a second Zotac Spider-Man card that I could have added in there. So it's not, it's not, it's a, it's an other one. So if we want to give away a second Spider-Man Zotac card, we can do that. Baba Ganoush dropping two gifted subs. You're a rock star, man. Appreciate you. And I love saying your name and you know that. Okay. So here we go. Whoa. Let's take this off just in the short term. Well guys, still level eight, that's huge. And we're already at 64 subs. So thank you. And that's going to help everybody who's done that is going to help towards getting that Partner Plus, which this is our last month. We're at the very end here. There we go. The back plate is magnetic, yes. It's specifically designed for the Zotac cards. The Z Zig PC, Jimson, thank you very much for the subs. Well, I appreciate it, Zig. I, th that helps too. You're a rock star. Appreciate you, my man. Uh, I like my eggs uh, over me uh, over uh, medium. So some runniness. Okay, there it is, all hooked up. So I'll put this in, and then here we go. Pop this in. Go to side. Put this back on. There we go. There it is right there. So now that is the full build. Let's grab our power here. So now you can see it fully ready. So this is the build, the sub only build that we're giving away for this, uh, for the month of, for the month of November, December, January. So this is the build that's up for grabs that you can win, fully customized from Blue Horse Studios. We showed you the front and the back, epic, epic build. Um, and it can be yours uh, to one lucky person is gonna walk away with this epic build. We'll let, we'll let it switch to all its colors and everything so it'll be fully done. And then if you wanna see the full build in the video, the video was really cool. We'll get a link to that um, as well, so. And we'll show you, maybe we'll show some, some uh, performance stuff on it a little bit later, but then there it is fully lit up with the red and blue from Spider-Man and the, and then the GPU and everything else. Guys, beautiful, beautiful build. So November, December, January. Uh, Ander, Ander GRZ, what was your question? 
I might be able to, if not, we'll have, we can have the techs help you too. Because we upgraded the GPU to the Spider-Man special edition one. So there it is, guys. This is what's up for grabs for this month. Uh, and then we're going to go to the other build here in just a second. But what do you think? How does it look? And there's Spider-Man in there waiting and waiting, you know, waiting for you and all that sort of stuff. So you got, you got just 10 more days and this could be yours. And again, you've got the full customization across the board for this build. So uh, somebody is going to be very, very lucky. It's really clean, all themed out, absolutely beautiful PC. Um, that's going to be up for grabs for somebody. So, <clears throat> okay. So let's put this back in the back. Let's put this back in the back. And then uh, we'll talk about the parts list and everything for the build we're actually doing today. But I, I love that we got to show this off. I was just waiting for the, uh, the new card to come in um, and uh, have you guys see it. And I'm really excited that people are excited about it and want to win it, which we could tell with the, with the subs and stuff that we've, we've gotten that people are like ready for it. So, and I'm glad that we got to show it off close so you guys could actually see the build versus it just sitting in the back. So let's put the Spider-Man stuff back on it. And again, the etching on the glass also looks really, really good as well. So there's the etching. So it has the Spider-Man logo across it, and then we'll stick it back here and let it just sit and look beautiful for you. Ugh. There we go. So some lucky winner is gonna walk away with that. Oops. Okay, turn that back on. There we go, and that's right, we had these on there. Okay. Omni goes down here. I think there we go. <clears throat> Okay, there you go. And now you guys can see the build and it'll look awesome and that's what's up for grabs. Can anyone advise me looking to upgrade an 11 VR card? Currently I have a 1080 NVIDIA with a, can I upgrade a card and what is suggested? So Stefan, Stefan, uh, STS Stefan, my thing would, my recommendation is to go to our Discord channel, discord.gg slash robytech, ask your question there. Uh, they would love to help you and it's a, probably one of the best places to get it done. And sorry if I turned around while you were doing the other stuff. Uh, Devoted Phantom, thank you very much. Kurosaki, thank you very much. Baba Ganoush, again, you're a rock star. Appreciate you too. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Um, let's see, anybody else? Let's update, okay, and let's update the sub goal and then we'll go for it. Oh, grazie, Ruby, I wanna buy a new PC and I need your advice, I just don't wanna fail. I have all components lists, so you'd you like to check it out for a minute? So, Ander, same feedback I gave to uh, uh, the uh, Stefan. Don't do it here, it's too hard for me to look at a thing and then make decisions snap. The best thing to do is head over to discord.gg slash intel, go to tech questions, put your parts list there. We have amazing text and everybody, and I even look at them too, for you to take a look at. That's the best place to get help um, versus being asked here because it's hard to do that stuff live. I am thinking about, and I'd love to get your idea, but I am thinking about having a show uh, starting in this year where we allow people to come and just ask questions about builds, uh, like a shorter one hour, whatever, and then we'll take cues and all that sort of, sort of, stu uh, sort of stuff. Um, similar to what uh, Braythorn has done for the pre-built matchmaking thing, but more in terms of giving you guys uh, like an open Q&A for that sort of stuff. So um, it it's, uh, would be a good thing. But that, that's where I would say for that because we're going to do a build and stuff like that too. So let me update the sub goal and then we'll move on from there, guys. So we're at 77. There we go. Okay, goal's up. I'm glad you guys like it. Uh, so I've been building PCs now for just over three years. So a little while, but not a ton of time. Okay, you guys ready to talk about the build we're doing today? Uh, Maiden, thank you very much for being awesome. <clears throat> okay, and don't forget to head over to youtube.com slash rubytechlive and like. Okay, so this is what we're building today. This is called the Encore 100 Max. And if you guys know anything about Cooler Masters Incore 200, 200 
P, um, or they have a 200P Max as well. Um, this is a lot like that. It is a mini ITX build that comes included with a AIO, very, very thick AIO, I will show you this, a PSU, and everything just kind of pre-ready and pre-assembled for you to basically easily install this. So we're gonna show you step by step with zoom in and all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in this case, this is a great stream to kind of follow along with because you'll be able to kind of see it go together completely. The case is not, not cheap. It's actually $4.99, but when you take into account that it comes with an AIO, that it comes with a PSU, and all that stuff is already included, case cost is actually pretty reasonable at about 150 bucks, um, which for this kind of, you know, kind of like quality and materials and stuff like that is actually pretty reasonable. So it's just one of those things that, uh, it's just one of those things that is, uh, is just worth, um, it's worth more than you think. And just because people see the price, they can go like, whoa, it's expensive. It actually has most of the components included. Now we have a list, so I'm gonna show you this right here. So you guys can see what we're putting inside of this today. <clears throat> the Corsair, well, th those are two very different, uh, it, yeah, it's going toe to toe with the Corsair one, which is a full pre, oh, that's not the right build. I don't know how that was still there. I changed all this. That's weird. All right, so there is the parts right there. So it's got a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Sorry, I did not want to remember the geometric future. Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. We're going to use an RG Strix B650E-I gaming Wi-Fi. Uh, we're going to be using the PNY XLR8 RTX 4090. Uh, Kingston Fury Renegade 2 terabyte uh, Gen 4 NVMe drive. We've got 32 gigs of RAM at 6,000 mega transfer from Kingston. Cooler Master, uh, Incore 100 Max, and then of course we get the cooler and the power supply uh, included in the build. A um, couple things that is worth noting is just how big this case is actually has the ability to expand. So it has two different modes. And again, we'll get a link uh, we'll get a link uh, down in the description, or sorry, in the description, but also uh, in the chat that'll show you the actual build itself. I'm um, sorry, the review. So the full review is out. The thing that uh, basically Cooler Master said is that you can put a 14900K and a 7950X in this. That is not true. That, I mean, in, unless you're just gonna game, which a game is relatively warm, but it still games. But if you're gonna do anything like productivity or whatever it was, it thermal throttles like a mug, dude. It just, it does not handle it all that well. It's only got a single very thick 120 millimeter radiator, which was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, I didn't, the geometric future was, it was a struggle, guys, it was a struggle. So, yeah, I know, I know, it's what I said, Oregon. We tested it, right? So we, we, if you wanna see in the full review, it basically thermal throttle like bonkers, and, it, and I definitely don't recommend it doing that. What, I, what does work well in it is if you wanted to put a, 40, a 14700K at Intel stock settings, that's super clear, Intel stock settings, or if you wanted to do a 7800X 3D, then those actually work great. And that's what we're gonna put in today. Now, 4090 wise, you can put some big boys inside of this card. I mean, inside of this case, things like uh, the gaming, uh, sorry, the Gaming X Trio, you can do the Zotac 4090, you can do the PNY Founders Edition, um, the tough, standard but what doesn't fit is like the rg strix anything from gigabyte like the big thick bad boys even in expanded mode but there's what what you're capable of getting inside of this case given the footprint and everything else is actually pretty impressive so pretty cool case we're going to see how it is to build in it today our full review is already live on it so if you want to see all the information and stuff like that but we want to show it to you so you guys can basically see it trying to think sync if there's anything else i know araxness i i definitely i definitely get that uh, I'd wait for the new BIOS. I'm trying to see what he's basically answered here. <clears throat> oh, wow, that is funny, Araxis. Yeah, and then the other thing too is that um, one thing that is worth noting is we are using a, we are using an, an Asus uh, card, but I mean, I guess we, we, we have started to see, and this has been brought up by the techs, uh, and even we have seen this uh, to some degree, even with the, the motherboard we just did, is that there just seems to be a real issue with um, AMD and ASUS right now. Um, I, like again, I've worked, reached out to ASUS, we're trying to get more information about it. But one of the things you won't see us recommending is that if you do have the option, uh, getting an MSI, ASRock, or uh, I would say even a Gigabyte, uh, motherboard at this point in time for the as it versus the B650E that we're putting inside of this may be a better option. We haven't had any issues with our B650E. We're just making sure that you guys are aware that we've seen problems with 
Asus motherboards and AM5, uh, specifically AMD builds right now. Um, do I prefer AMD over Intel? I actually have, I have very few issues between recommending either one. So I use AMD a lot of times, when, especially if they're gaming focused, you'll see me recommend a 7800X 3D. When it's productivity focused, you'll see me recommend Intel. So for instance, if somebody's like, hey Roby, I wanna build a PC uh, that is uh, also, for, um, also for rendering and everything else, uh, and also for, you know, for 3D work or whatever it was, you have a tendency to see me actually re uh, do that with Intel versus AMD. So um, it really kind of comes down to, it really kind of comes down to the build itself. But I, I mean, the, yeah, the build specifics uh, versus me going like, hey, I like this or this, if that makes sense. So, all right, so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna strip this thing so it's a little bit weird. So on the back end here, what you're gonna do is you're literally just gonna pull it pulls up like this. And then at the front here, you kind of just pull it out and then that's how it kind of comes apart. So then that's one side and then you repeat here. So again, just pulling, it's a little bit hard. So it, it feels unnatural <sighs> like that. And then again, same process. You just, oops, kind of go it towards you. And there you go. So that's how the build comes apart. And again, you can, if you wanted to expand this out to support even larger GPUs. I will say, and I don't know if I, you guys can see this a little bit. If you look at the top, you can see that actually it's pretty good at getting fingerprints. So uh, we're gonna test now. I think if you use a, yeah, microfiber seems to do a pretty good job of getting those fingerprints off. So if you have, you know, like, if you get sweaty when you do PC builds, just be aware, you might have to do a little bit of a wipe down uh, to make it look nice. All right, so showing you guys the inside of the case itself. So like I said, you actually have a pretty nice uh, 1100 watt, uh, you have an 1100 watt um, PSU built in with actually really nice uh, cables themselves, right? So these are those really, really easy ones to work with. Uh, just so you guys know, cables for the most part, are pretty much pre uh, pretty well pre-routed to where you need it to do. There are cables if you were gonna do an AMD um, GPU in this, so like a 7950, uh, sorry, a 7900 XTX or a 7900 XT, uh, they're just tucked away, really kind of the way that uh, Corsair did this is for uh, 40 series RTX cards. And then inside here, uh, it does come with an AIO. It is bracketless, so you do have to install the bracket, and then you just take this out, and then this is where you put in your motherboard and everything else. But everything is really kind of just ready for you to install it, which is why I said uh, it's going to be a pretty simple build. On the other side, this is the giant compartment for the GPU. So the GPU, basically, it comes with the right-hand angle. Again, the other ones are tucked in here if you wanted to do AMD, but it's a right-hand angle. The other thing being aware of is that some 4090s or some uh, actually put the cards the other way, and then you end up with this weird issue. So I would definitely recommend things like PNY, um, uh, PNY uh, and uh, Asus uh, versus like MSI um, because they, or sorry, is it MSI? One of them inverses it and so it makes it a little bit weird. So the PNY cards or the Founders Edition cards are uh, the correct direction. If not, you have to kind of weirdly spin this around, which is kind of a pain. Um, and then of course, you've also got your, uh, your basically your riser card. And then, like I said, you can actually take this apart and you can see it right here. You can see there's two different clips here. You can take this apart, and then by unlocking it, you can expand it so it can fit an even thicker GPU. But this size uh, fits Founders Edition and the PNY card. If you want to go a bit thicker for a, for a little bit bigger of a GPU, you can absolutely do that. So pretty cool. Um, very, like, I have to say, very, very impressive engineering and stuff like that. Uh, I feel like what um, course, uh, Cooler Master has built is actually really, really neat. The only thing is, is that I just feel like their claims about how much you can cool with this is, uh, is, a little, uh, is a little off. Now for fans, you can actually see that they have a fan here and then they have another fan here at the bottom. So the fan right here and then at the top here, there is a much thicker 120 millimeter radiator uh, up here at the top. So it's, it's quite thick. Uh, and then again, they have, they basically protect that 
uh, with like a dust filter kind of way to, right above it. But it's all integrated in. You can't really take it apart or anything like that unless you started to take out screws and things like that. So everything's cooled by a 120 millimeter thick radiator. And then it's all set as exact, essentially exhaust. So it creates a negative pressure situation, just basically sucking air in through the sides, which are all ventilated. And then that's how it's cooling your, uh, your entire PC. So is 4090 the latest card? Is it a 4090D you mean? No, the one that we're using today is not a 4090D. <clears throat> so any questions? Does that seem pretty straightforward? If, if so, then we'll go ahead and start building. 4090 is the most powerful card, yes. Do you guys, have you guys seen a super? Do you guys want to see a super real quick before we go into the build or let me know. Uh, and then if not, we can just go into the build. But I want to, if you guys want to see the, okay, you guys want to see a super real quick? Hey, CDZ, thank you. Oh, it might, you're, uh, this one is supposed to be, hold on, let me look. I don't remember. It, you might be right. I thought it, you're, you might be right. It's probably 850. Sorry. I thought for some reason, I thought it was 1100 watt. Sorry, Org, thank you, for, thank you for updating. I have supers, yes. PNY makes good cards. I like their cards. Here you guy goes. You guys want to see a 4070 super? These are the ones I can show right now. On Tuesday, Tuesday I can show you guys the 4070 Ti super, and then at the end of the month I can show you the 4080 super. Okay, so here you go. So the box is a little bit different. Then a Founders Edition here, let me get you a standard. Let me just grab the TI, or the 4070 FE. Here you go, there it is. Ugh. So the 4070 Super Boxes are actually all smoked out. So they don't have, so you can actually at a glance know when you're getting a 4070 versus a 4070 Super. And we do have 4070 Super and 4070 Ti Super builds coming up, guys. So here's the actual boxes themselves. 4070 Founders Edition. Obviously, the card itself is gray. But here is the 4070. That's the card itself is gray. The 4070 Super is actually all black. It's all smoked out. So, I mean, I gotta be honest, guys. I really like the new look of these cards. Now, I do know, and he's not wrong, and you'll see it here when I show it up close. It is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. It is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but in terms of just the graphic look, it's, it's a very pretty card. Now you can see it does do fingerprints. Uh, again, all you have to do is use a microfiber cloth, but I mean, this is gonna look really good in like your Fractal North builds and stuff like that. And now the fact that it's all black, I love that they got rid of like the green moniker with it as well. So very, very, very pretty card. Uh, and I like this version of the FE more than I like the traditional gray and black. Now, I will say there are definitely builds where the gray and black definitely looks a little bit cleaner. So you are limited in terms of, uh, you know, it's not, it's not as striking as what you got with the light gray, but I definitely do like it. And then again, they talked about the diamond cutting and stuff like that, but at least wanted to give you guys a good view of that. And so that is the 4070 Super. And then again, I will show you, all I gotta do is grab microfiber. <clears throat> wipe it and then it wipes right down. And there you go. So it's one of those things that people talk about fingerprints. Dude, all you gotta use is a microfiber cloth and it cleans most of the surfaces up. Now I will say there are laptops that are a little bit worse, but for the most part, if you get done with the build and then you use a microfiber cloth, um, you won't, yeah, and then you'll never touch your GPU again. It'll look absolutely fine. <clears throat> yeah. I hope NVIDIA, uh, you know, I, Rurutu, I doubt that NVIDIA will make white cards. To be honest, I mean, everybody is, I mean, there, yes, there is, they do make cards and they are a card part, they are our card, but they do rely a lot on their AIB partners to basically do and, uh, and build all of the, you know, the, the cards that are specific and designed for your build, so. Wow. 
what cases are on the back. So the ones that we have back here in behind me, um, and then we'll get into the build, is we have a Lee & Lee 011, sorry, this is the Lee & Lee 011, sorry, Lee & Lee keeps correcting me on that. Lee & Lee 011, uh, 011 Evo RGB, so this is their latest case back here with the new um, LED fans. Uh, this is a Falcon Northwest Talon, and then this is the PC giveaway uh, for the month of November, December, and January, uh, which is an NZXT uh, H7 Elite with uh, that was themed out for Spider-Man. Uh, we do sell PCs, yes, and we do build, we do both. So, but for the most part, I, I don't build, I don't sell as many as I used to. Now I don't really need to. So, all right, so let's get to the build, guys. And just so you guys know, 4070 Ti's, the 4070 Ti Super does not have a Founders Edition card. So only the 4080 Super and 4070 Super have a Founders Edition. Okay, so let's go to top down, let's grab some drink. And now for the tiny motherboard. <clears throat> Eli, uh, I do commissions, I don't just sell we, though we do have some builds we are selling, if you guys want to see those, those will be showing up on Discord here pretty soon. We have a couple builds that we just are sitting that are put together. But for the most part, everything that we do is really cut. I'd rather, instead of doing like pre-built systems, you just reach out to me and then we just commission them, which is nice. <clears throat> those 4070 Supercards are not worth the six. So, Scott, if you want to go look at my buyer's guide, I will tell you right now, here's my thing. It is completely dependent on the type of gamer you are. If you are a FPS, no frills, you are absolutely right. You're absolutely right. If you like high, if you like 4K, I'm sorry, if you like 1440p, cinematic, cinematic, all the bells and whistles, then a 4070 Super wipes the floor with a 7800 XT, especially in games like Alan Wake 2, Cyberpunk 2077, now even in many regards Starfield. So the thing is, is that it really just depends on the kind of games you play. That's why I don't like that people say that there is a one size fits all solution for people who purchase GPUs. There are definitely segmentations and you as a gamer need to determine what's best for you. The 7800 XT is a fantastic card. The 4070 Super, also a great card. It just depends on what kind of PCs you play. And then if you're worried about, you know, the other thing too that was also kind of surprising is everybody thought that the, you know, that the 7800 XT would wipe the floor with the 4070s and the, everything else on even power efficiency and those cards are even more power efficient as well. It just depends on who you are. So, and even now, and I know BMOC and everybody's, we're still not entirely sure, a lot of caveats, but we still have to see what comes out of Pulsar Tech because that may matter to competitive FPS players too, so. <clears throat> but, and then, okay, let me, let me, sorry, one other diatribe here. Let me talk about, let me talk about VRAM because this is something that, it's not just me, it's not, it's not just me. There are a lot of people who are frustrated and mostly the people who are frustrated by the VRAM conversation are game developers. Game developers develop for what are called recommended settings and recommended PC settings, not just now, but for the future are based on Steam Deck hardware lists. When you look at what most people have, most people don't even have eight gigabytes of VRAM. When you're talking about VRAM issues, there's a lot of times that games will allocate whatever they have on the card, but what they actually use is less than 10 gigs. And for the most part, for the next four to five years, you will not see that number jumping any higher. To be super clear, that if a, if a, if a game dev is complaining about how much VRAM a mid to high end card is having, then they are doing a terrible job optimizing their game. Because for the most part, they're selling that game to less than 5% of the people who actually play PC games. So let me just be super clear that Hogwarts, no, Hogwarts Legacy now, if you run Hogwarts Legacy with its modern day optimizations, you can run it on a eight gig card without any issue. Yeah, game, so game developers, especially for PC, a lot of it has actually been, has actually been 
them not optimizing their games. And this has been a real problem. And so what you've done is you basically said you've, you've blown up how much GPU, I mean, how much VRAM that people believe that you actually need. And game developers, for the most part, are actually developing for far less VRAM. And some of that is an allocation issue that, that companies have started to basically, that developers have started to fix. I'm gonna be super clear, as somebody who's developed 20 years of video games, including ports for Fable, Halo, and all those other ones, I will tell you that we are never developing for more than eight, most of the time, six gigs of VRAM on a GPU because that is what the majority of people have on their PC. If people are doing more than that, they're not gonna sell enough copies and that game is gonna be a flop on PC. So please stop having that argument about how much VRAM that certain cards have, especially if it's greater than 12 gigs of RAM. I'm sorry, that is not true. <laughs> yes, Rurutu, that is the other thing too. It is publishers pushing devs because they need to get games out. And then once you look at games three, five months down the line that don't have this problem anymore. <laughs> I'm just saying, I know as somebody who has 20 years of experience in this, what, as somebody who has 20 years of experience in this, I will tell you as a business person, as somebody, any business, development company or any business development unit that is working with Bungie, Microsoft, anything, and you go and you tell me, hey, I'm developing for the 4070, would literally lose their crap because they'll be like, guys, we're not gonna sell enough copies. These guys need to sell millions of copies. And I'm sorry, there are not millions of those cards out there. Millions of people own 1660s, 4060s, 3060s, and those cards do not have that kind of VRAM. So, just calm down on the VRAM thing because that's like, that's just not a thing. <laughs> so don't, so when people say 12 gigs is not enough, that is not true. <clears throat> that's what, that, so I just, I wanna be really careful about that because the other thing too is like, I just feel like what happens is, is that somebody, it's kind of like the whole gamers nexus thing with the AIO where people went and watched five minutes of a Jeep, of a, of a video and then got all wound up about something that they didn't watch the rest of the video, which was essentially, as long as the pump is lower than the top, where air cannot get trapped and get to the pump, you're fine. You can totally top have top tubes and not have an issue with your AIO. So it just comes back, and this is like the stuff that's going in there. So I just wanna, like again, it just feels like there's an education problem there, and people just want it's really what it is, is that people really want AMD to win or people really want Nvidia to win. And really competition is good. I want them both to do well. I, I need AMD to get its hardware, but I mean, it's software better. Hardware is fantastic. But honestly, right now, Nvidia is wiping the floor with them with, uh, with, uh, with software. And the thing is, is that right now Nvidia is dominating and we don't want that. We need AMD to be amazing because competition breeds innovation. Same thing with Intel. Look at how much Intel is on their back heels right now because of how well that AMD has basically been doing with their CPUs. I need the same thing on their GPUs right now. But dude, do not let fanboyism blur your, blur your, basically your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, um, having, being objective. I just feel like people just see the colors and instead of looking through and seeing what's actually true, they just get wound up about misinformation. So that's my problem, yeah. <clears throat> yes, JP, absolutely true. But the other thing too is nobody is gonna argue when you go and play Cyberpunk 2077 on a 7800XT and the, I have to say in my thing that, hey, it's really Nvidia optimized and that's why it only runs at 60 frames per second when a 4070 runs it at 130 frames per second even without even without frame generation, that's the thing that I'm talking about, is that their AI, and this is, okay, last diatribe, and then we'll get to the build, sorry. Last diatribe. I know that people want to know about rasterization. I'm sorry, guys. Game developers are not about rasterization anymore. AI and upscaling is here to stay. And whether you want to know this or not, games like Alan Wake 2 and Cyberpunk 2077 look better AI optimized than they do purely rasterized because of things like ray reconstruction, and this is only beginning. 
Moore's Law and the rasterization lane is now not the lane. It's how much AI and software will enhance graphics. And this is a good thing because what it means is when you spend $600 on a card, now all of a sudden, like you guys were watching us play on an integrated graphics art card, we were playing games that shouldn't have been possible on integrated graphics because of things like XCSS, meaning your hardware will last longer because of the software that is coming along with it. So the fact of the matter is, is those lines matter. And that's right now where you see, if you look at that line between what's going on in NVIDIA and what's going on with AMD, that is also a thing. So you can deny it all you want, but it's still there. And it's still going to be where games are going. And the other thing too is it's going to get to the point, and, the, and NVIDIA even showed this at basically the CES, that even the latency, which you are currently getting in rasterization will drop. So even when you're playing competitive FPS shooters, you will still have better latency when it's AI enhanced than you would if it was purely rasterized. So I, I just want to let you guys know, there is a lot of things that are changing and that whether you want to be anti-change or not, I'm sorry. And I'm not, I'm just the messenger guys. If you want to get mad, I don't even know who you get mad at because it just feels like people are just getting mad. It's like, I want my whatever, you know, they're just angry. So, <clears throat> all right, so anyway, sorry, we'll get to the build now. Let me go grab my stuff. I'm not, I just, it's just the thing is, is like, it's just, it's all good stuff. <clears throat> yeah, and that's the thing is like, Steam Decks, Steam Decks, uh, you know, Claws, um, uh, Legion Goes, those systems are so good because of of software like FSR, XESS, and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just saying, it's like, the thing is, is like on the one hand, you're like, I, I, I need it because it makes handheld gaming better. But at the same time, you're like, I don't like it because now all of a sudden I, you know, it's it's making my argument for the team that I want to win bad because I, I care more about AMD winning or Nvidia winning or whatever it was. Guys, we need them all to do well because if they're competitive, then everybody wins, including us. <laughs> Yeah, and the thing is, is like, I, I want, I need, I need AMD to do well. This is to say, I was actually having this conversation with BMOC, which I love BMOC and I love my team because they push me on these things. When we did our, our review, they, they keep me grounded because sometimes I also get up in the hype with certain tech and things like that. But I will say that I want everybody to do well because if everybody does well, then you as the consumer win because cards are cheaper, they're super competitive and everybody is, uh, you know, has choice for the kind of cards that they want to buy. And that feels better. Araxness, you shouldn't feel bad. You don't, there's nothing to feel bad about. I just need people to be, I just need people to, to be aware of some of the arguments and know that that stuff isn't, some of that stuff isn't true. I mean, just think, I mean, the, the dev business thing, if people were developing for greater than 10 gigs of VRAM, think of how many games of that, how many games they couldn't sell. So I just think everybody's like, oh, it's got to run an ultra and an ultra because it's crap, it's crappily optimized at that point in time. Yes, it's going to do a terrible job at using the right resources. So <clears throat> my hand almost does cover it. I mean, like when you see whatever it is. So anyway, guys, that wasn't a dig at anybody. It was just one of those things that I just wanted to take a moment to sit there and bring up and say like, hey, guys, this is stuff to be aware for. And I mean, honestly, we've seen both of them, like AMD's affected in, uh, NVIDIA, which is good, right? Like we saw them, like they're coming back and they, they punch back at the efficiency thing. So obviously they're all paying attention. Am I done? I'm building now. <laughs> I'm, I'm done, I'm done. I've, I've, I've said my piece. E bust and loose, I think this is a lot of marketing. What do you mean? Oh, let's, I don't, is there a peel? That's just a little bit dirty because we've already benched this. I don't think there's any peels on here, guys. Oh, no, I'm, I just, guys, I care. Like, I care. And I want, I, I just want to separate what is essentially, I just want to separate what is, fanboyism and desire for some particular brand to win 
over what is objectivity and recommending the right hardware for what people want. That's all. So <clears throat> there you go right there. Okay, so here, yeah, I, exactly, Rurutu, you're right. I want, I want your, uh, I want your uh, wallet to win too. Um, okay, so here we are right here. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Oh, fun, small form factor PCs. Okay, there we go. We don't have the VRM pop today. Uh, we can do RAM. I don't know if we've already done that already, Blondie. Sorry, I had my little diatribe there. It does have a VRM fan. Yes, if you guys want to see it, I will show it to you. Okay, so here is, he's talking about this right here. So that right there, you can see it in there. So there's a VRM fan right there. So that actually blows on the VRMs when it has the power and stuff like that, which is actually pretty cool. So pretty neat little motherboard. Uh, let's do, oh, I have no text here. Did no text decide to join me? I guess not. Uh, let's do 96. I thought BMOC would be in the chat. It would be in the, in the chat with me today. Uh, it's a B650, so it's a mid-range board, right? It's it's mid-range for mini ITX. Mini ITX boards have to be have a tendency to be expensive, no matter where they are. Let's do well. Not, you know, we haven't clicked it in yet. Okay, here we go. We have AMD Expo RAM. So DJ Techno, if you were gonna do an air cooler, I don't think this A, the, the whole thing is pre-wired for an AIO. I don't think an air cooler you could. You'd have to put something like an L9i or an L9a or the um, lower end, uh, the uh, sorry, the low profile deep cool coolers. Um, but the build literally comes with an AIO built in. There's no way, and taking it out would be a giant pain. Hey, Jamie, thank you very much for the $5 tip. Okay, jumping that out. I wonder why the YouTube is so bad. That's weird. Oh, right, here we go. Okay, so here we go right here. Three, two, one. Did we already do the, is it done? Uh, before I do this, is it done? I, did, I want to make sure I didn't blondie, I didn't do anything. Okay, good, okay. I don't want blondie to get mad. Okay, here we go. 96. No, that was terrible. This is like, that was like 88, guys. That wasn't even close. Yikes. Igor dropping two gifted subs. What's up, buddy? Okay, here we go. That hopefully. No, oh, man. 94.3, guys. That is a negatory. This was not, this is definitely not the, uh, not the, uh, the build for uh, loud clicks. So, sorry guys, Fa I failed you. Okay, let's get our NVMe in here. Pig Radio's like, yeehaw. Okay, now we're gonna put this in. Such a small motherboard. This, tr this stream will not run, well, maybe it will. I, ha I had like a two hour diatribe. It wasn't that long. <laughs> How many Roby rants? <laughs> I don't rant very often, but that one's just was enough, right? And it's, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I think the text, like many of the texts who are here would agree that we, like the first version, we thought about the 4070 Super and stuff like that. Like our review, like they, they are a very important part of our process, right? And we have made big changes. And because of those changes, 
There's a reason that it is popping off right now. Um, and so I appreciate that we have that balance, right? But the other thing too is like I still, and I love, I have some great discussions with members of my tech team about things like this because it gives me perspective on what people think, right? And so, yeah. See you later, Igor. Okay, so we peeled that off and this one. Oh, Raxness, I would agree with that. But the other thing too is like, I actually have a video coming out on why the, from NVIDIA on like why the 4070 Super and honestly it was a yield issue. I mean, now at least at this point in time, it feels like it's valued in the right place. How much have they dropped the 7800 XT now? So it's only, it's, isn't, so it's this, oh, it's 500, okay. Well, yeah, Jeremy, this is a tiny, you'll see here in a minute. This is good, this goes in a tiny case, Jeremy. All right, so there we go, guys. Motherboard is all done. What we're gonna go ahead and do is we'll do the, we'll do the, um, we'll do our, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We'll do the thermal paste after we get it inside the case, but there we go. Okay, build is ready. Motherboard's ready. Ugh. Oh, okay, so it did drift back. BMOC, but that was kind of what you expected, right? Because you said price is at a time where we're kind of hiking back up, yeah? For a little bit. There, are these still pretty hard to get? Okay, here we go, guys. So then we've just removed this. I mean, they're great cards. One of my favorite looking ones is the white one that I have for it. Okay, so we're just gonna get everything out of the way here. We have our little riser cable. Okay, so here we go. And like I said, most of this stuff runs exactly where it needs to run. And they did such a good job of like making sure that it was like set for where you needed it to go. The only thing you just gotta be really careful of is just making sure you're not sitting on anything. Here. Like that, where I'm like blocked because of a cable. Oh, mini ITX. I have a love-hate relationship with you. There we go. Okay, cool, there it is. <clears throat> I know, Jeremy, Jeremy's like, what are you? Oh, I understand now, it's tiny. <laughs> Yeah, I knew once you saw it, you would be like, oh, okay, this makes sense. Oh, you know what, guys? I just realized, oh, wait. Oh, never mind. this is a clip one. I forgot, yeah, this is clip. I was about to forget. We're good, we're good. Not that one. Gotta find our cables, not that one. Oh, there they are, okay. Oh, I get you, Jeremy. Welcome to the channel, dude. Enjoy. Okay.
Okay, here we go. Just nicely kind of popping it in here. Just taking our time. Oh, dad joke from Blade of Ice. Now, another Robitech dad joke phone out. Okay, here we go, guys. Dad joke, Blade of Ice asking. Three years ago, my doctor told me I was going deaf. I haven't heard from him since. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that one, that one, that one was good. That one was good. <laughs> that one, that one was good. Oh man, I like that one. Okay, we got one more up here in the corner. There it is. Okay, so there we go. All of our stuff is in. Now we just have little small things. Okay, so here's what we got. First thing, this is, I love this, right? So right here. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully, I mean, luckily we now have your thing. So we're, you should be getting your card from us here pretty soon. So we're just waiting. Dad got, dad got COVID, Sergeant Nobody. Zip tie prediction, guys. Zip tie man, zip tie man, guess the count of them if you can. Even us, who can know? Make your wagers on every show. Hey now, Roby's the zip tie man. Okay guys, go ahead and get your zip tie count in. There it is, odd or even. Get it in there. It will not be 52. Wow, that would, for this case, that would be impressive. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in right here. So this is our CPU fan. It's gonna go right here in the corner. So there it is, plugged in right there. Okay, so next one, this is our, this is a fan for our, I'm assuming this is actually for our AIO. This is the AIO fan. So I'm gonna put that in right here. This is our other fan, which I'm gonna put in right here. So that's the, these two fans are plugged in. Now, USB-C, again, lined up perfectly. It's just right here, just goes right there. Just like that, and then here is our 24 pin. Perfect length, just waiting. There we go. And then we'll clean this stuff up here in a minute. Okay, now for this. We're gonna move down here a little bit. Okay, so we have our USB 3 right here. That's gonna go right next to this, already lined up, just ready to go. And then right next to that, we have our front panel header. So front panel is literally right next to USB 3.2. There we go. And then all we have left is HD audio, and HD audio is gonna go right here. This is what I'm talking about, right? Like, look at, look at how easy that was. It's just all routed, and then all I gotta do is take this, which this is our, our riser card, unplug that, and that goes right here. Okay. And that, that is it, motherboard is done. I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this, but let me just show you one more time, a little bit closer so you can see what we did here. So in the top left-hand corner right here, turn on this light. So in the top left-hand corner right here, that's our CPU. This is to our fan up here, okay? So this is your fan for your AIO. This is your other, exact, essentially exhaust fan right here. Then over here, we have our 24 pin, which is perfectly routed right from the GPU right to the 24 pin. Then right below that, we have the USB-C, which the cables you can see is routed right down here. From there, we have the USB 3.2 connection, which I showed you, it's purple. It goes right here and then right next to that, you can see there's our front panel header sitting right there. So there's the front panel header. 
Let me see if I can get you a better angle here. So there's the front panel header right there, right next to it, front panel. And then the last connection is obviously our HD audio. And then here is the riser plugged into the, uh, the GPU slot. And then that right there, guys, is the entire build. Like I said, Cooler Master did a really good job of just making sure that where all the cables need to go, they're already pre-routed and ready to go. So, which is actually pretty neat. Yeah, it, that, and he, the, the thing is, is Jimmy is basically saying it's a speed build friendly uh, SFF. It absolutely is. In fact, if you've ever built in the, in, the NR200P Max, it also has a very similar process in terms of just how easy the build comes together. So now we're gonna do, it. hey, Bartleby, thank you very much for the, the sub. What we're gonna do now is we're just going to kind of clean up the extra little cables here. And I'm going to basically run them into this little group right here. Well, Kevin, it's gonna be hidden. Like it's not, like you can't even see it. I mean, if you wanted to go like that, I, I, it is one of those things that I have brought up. I talked to Liam Lee about it when I was on site, is about actually making the HD audio cable not look so ugly. So I have brought it up with a couple case manufacturers to make sure that we can, uh, that's something we can do. <laughs> You've way, nice. Okay, there we go. So we'll get those kind of cleaned up there. So that takes care of that. Cable's nice and clean, straightforward. This one, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, route them together. Okay, there we go. One more right there. I'm amazed how many zip ties they give you. They give you a lot, which is great. I'm grateful for, I just, you know, they give me more zip ties for this build than many of the full size ATX cable uh, cases give me, you know? There it is. That was interesting. There we go. There we go. Again, that's just to make it look a little bit prettier. There we go. And this one will also do kind of the same thing. Just give it one more kind of zip tie right there just to make that this look a little bit more intentional. That'll kind of give us everything. It was already pretty, what does that mean? Okay, there we go. Okay, so that just gives everything just a nice kind of clean look, intentionally routed, all that sort of stuff. Okay, now is the time to get our bracket on. Okay, there we go. Okay, 
Well, Nathan, what are you? What are people being critical about? We don't have to all be critical. There's something to be said for people who are optimists and aren't critical. You know? Oops. Oh, I'm gonna have one more zip tie I have to deal with here in a minute. I just realized. That's okay. I have zip ties out already. That's what we want. We want it to look clean. Okay, so guys, now we're gonna do is let's go ahead and put our beautiful. Oh. Oh, this just comes. Oh, there we go. That's magnetic. Okay, there you go. I didn't know that. So this is magnetic. So if you want to see the AIO a little bit better, there's the giant thick AIO. I guess this came off. I did not know that. Just so you guys know, the top comes off. FYI. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna get our... There we go. I have these. Eh, I'm not gonna use it, it's fine. nice and covered. There we go. It is nice and smooth. It's happy paste, yes. Uh, we have built in it already, so, but no, it does not have pre-applied th thermal paste. It actually comes with thermal paste. We're just using Noctua. But it, uh, uh, Cooler Master has their own thermal paste. I'll be honest, most companies have done a pretty good job of making pretty good thermal paste. Now remember guys, we have some PC giveaways coming up. <clears throat> so uh, just a real quick, we have this one back here. The Spider-Man, this is the sub only giveaway for the month of January, uh, December, November, January. So if you're sub during that time, you can get in on that. Uh, Amazon Prime gets you a free entry, just drop your Prime sub and you're basically entered to win tier one, three entries, tier two, five, tier three, 10. And then every gifted sub gets you an additional entry. We're gonna be drawing the winner for that in Feb on uh, the first week of February. The other thing too is that we have the Cyberpunk 2077 build that's coming up on Tuesday. We're gonna be giving that one away in conjunction with Origin PC, but on the live stream, we're also gonna be giving away an amazing laptop. So that'll be the live stream giveaway. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to tune in for that. That's gonna be customized and stuff like that as well. That's gonna be happening Tuesday. We're also gonna be giving away a tough build in conjunction with Asus. That's gonna be happening the last week of January. That's gonna be given away actually on the stream as well. And then we have some pre-built and gaming ones coming up as well. So being subscribed, that gets you additional entries, including the 7800X 3D we're giving away today. That gets you an additional three entries for any giveaway. Now you do not need to be subscribed to win the piece, the laptop that we're giving next week, or even the 7800X 3D that we're giving away today. All you have to do, but if you are subscribed, you get additional entries, but you do not need to be, you just need to be following. You need to be subscribed on YouTube, and you basically need to make sure that you're a member of the Discord at discord.gg slash robitech. So just giving you an update on giveaways. Now we're gonna be giving away a $25 Nui gift card, a, uh, a two $25 Nui gift cards, and a $50 Nui gift card at the end of the stream as well as a 7800X 3D. So. <clears throat> Oh, and then yeah, make sure you're heading over to YouTube and doing the likes because that's how we unlock the $25 new gift card. 
Yes, Trauba. A few people have. There is definitely a uh, there is definitely a uh, uh, a uh, difference. Uh, the only problem is is that the amount of people who've also shorted out their uh, oops, that's not the right one. The amount of people who've shorted out their um, CPUs because they've used liquid metal is also pretty ridiculous. So it's definitely something that if you don't, unless you really need it for high performance computing, I would definitely not recommend it unless you. Uh, and really know what you're doing or you're an expert. Okay, so this is gonna go like this. So this is gonna go. So it feels like, okay, I see it. Thank you very much, Stevie, for the prime sub. And then guys, we are trying to unlock. The other thing too is if we get, um, if we get to 350 sub points for the month of January, that will unlock our final month of, uh, for Partner Plus. And then that means that we will be doing that custom, uh, the custom Twitch build when partnership with Be Quiet uh, and Intel and Twitch. So. Thank you, Stevie. So yeah, there's another build that we'll be just giving away live on stream next month. So good time to be subbed. Well, it's always a good time to be subbed because we also, we give away stuff all the time. We're close guys. I think we'll do it. I think we're gonna make it happen. And this is my birthday stream too. So I like how I'm giving stuff away, but you guys have given me a lot of love today. There we go, guys. Okay, there's that. One more. We're just putting our bracket on. Thank you, guys. Hey, Zig PC, thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate you, man, Living Monster. Also, thank you for the sub. Take a drink. <clears throat> okay, next up. Last little bit, guys, for this part anyway. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm sure he is, Steve. That's amazing. That's a great build. Okay, here we go, guys. So the last little upgrade here. I mean, sorry, not upgrade. Last little part we got to do. Tano, thank you very much for the sub. Okay, let's get this on. Make sure it's really tight. We want a lot of pressure here. I want this to be super even. Thank you for the gifted sub, Tano. Okay, there we go. Thank you, KFOD. I appreciate you love watching them. We, I love making them. I love building PCs. It's a fun gig. I'm very lucky to get to do it. And every once in a while, I'll go on a random diatribe. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, there we go. Hey, James Sandberg, thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, so there is, there is everything on that side. The build is essentially done, AIO's done. Let's go ahead and play it just for fun. Everybody sing along together. Justin Jun Roby has had a show. A-I-A-I-O. And on that show, he builds PCs. A-I-A-I-O. With a dad joke here and, and a, a zip tie, tie here. RGB, RGB, RGB and Blondie Geeky. Geeky. Justin Roby has a show. A-I-A-I-O. There we go. <laughs> so there we go. There is our AIO install. Thank you very much, Pig Radio, for always making our those epic songs and stuff that we've used. Okay, so there is that, everything's done there. Let's flip it over. Okay, la now for the last little bit. Pretty simple. Let's grab our GPU, which in this case, huge shout out to PNY. Love this 4090. It's like one of those things that if you're looking for an FE type, you know, FE sized 4090, this is such a good option. Um, you know, it's in terms of being costing very similar to it. I do know for a fact, and huge shout out to JJ for doing this, that Asus also has one, um, but it, a tough version that's also around the same price. But I did not, I can't ever get it in stock. The PNY seems to be in stock more frequently uh, than the Asus one. So there is also an Asus Tough version that's near, the, that's also at Fry. Yeah. Oh, stinkable. No, not at all. Yeah, they're totally fine. I just wanted to show something that was, I could put a 4090F in, e in this very easily. It's just I wanted to show something that was a bit bigger to let people know that, uh, to let people know that, uh, uh, you 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 have options with this case. A lot of times when I choose these, oops, forgot about the GPU bracket here. So we have three here. Yeah, the F, the FE would look the. 4080 Super FE would look beautiful in this build. Between a tune and a bucket, what? What is that? Oh, nice, I like that. I like that joke, that's a good joke. That's a good joke, pig. Okay, here we go. Oh, a little bit of a, little bit of a, there we go. Oh yeah, got them out. Okay, there we go. So now, it's gonna take this. And this is like just the right size, by the way. Oopsie, well, just unlock that and I have to do this this way. It's like just the right length. Oh, that's what I forgot. Take these off, guys. Locked in. Don't forget about, sometimes it's like, like I said, it's just the right length. And the reason is because of those little rubber pieces there. Okay. It's 
right there. Oh, it fits. Yeah, it's like it's literally the maximum size for uh, it's the maximum size for the non expanded what I call the stretchy pants version. Okay, and then all we do is just pop this right here. Beautiful, ready to go. And then I'll use, I usually use, I'm gonna put big zip ties here just to keep that contained. There we go. Okay, so there's our, there's everything kind of contained. Okay, so for this part, just as an FYI, I want to show you this because it's worth doing. So there's little lips here and the little lips right here. So what you do is you basically slide these over the little lips like that, and then you push it over. And then this essentially locks it into place. So now all my cables are hidden. I feel like, I feel like rubber things, I, did, I think I've, I feel like a rubber thing is stuck in here somewhere. I'm gonna take out the. <clears throat> Just making sure that I, I know that I had other rubber <clears throat> ones of these and I can't, seem to find them, so I'm wondering if they got stuck someplace else. I don't hear them. Okay. Assuming no. Okay, well, now I just lost both of those. I'm on fire today, guys. All right, there we go, build is done. So there you go, you can see your GPU right there. And then on the other side, we have all of our components for our other part of the build and that's it. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, let's go ahead and get it back together. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is go through our sponsor real quick. Uh, we'll cover deals, we'll turn it on and then we'll test it. But there is the build itself. So let's go ahead and get our sides back together. So first panel. Yeah. And I'll do, yeah, I'll do zip tie count here in a minute. So the way that this works, putting it on, is there's little latches here, which has got to slip in to get this in. So it just slips in just like that. Oh. There we go. There you go, so there's that first part. So it's now clipped in just like that and then we'll do the repeat on the front. And there you go, now there's the build. Let's we'll grab our part here.
There we go. Now we have, that is the full blown PC. There it is. Now the question is, will it post and all that kind of jazz? We'll find out in just a second. Drop this in here, drop this in here. Ugh. Okay, zip tie count real quick. Odd or even, not a lot. Yeah, we're already done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Odd, it is odd today. Seven, seven, uh, seven zip ties. Okay. I told you it was gonna be short. Short, short episode today. Uh, this went very fast. This went very, very fast. And it's it's one of those things that if I could, I would, you know, it's just like, we we do one build. Well, doing two builds today would take a lot longer. But we did, we did actually put a GPU in another one. So Vajra, you get, uh, you get points. Then you can spend those points on uh, unlocking the 7600X or dad jokes or all sorts of things. They're channel points. Um, undoing it will probably take the same amount of time, but it needs to go through uh, a mini test and all that sort of stuff. So we're not done. Once we get done with this, we're, we'll recap and put a, uh, a version of this. So if people want to follow along and watch it be built, that's what we do. <clears throat> so I don't want to take it apart. Is that what you, you guys like? Can you build it and rebuild it five times? We could. I don't know if that's interesting. Uh, Asriel, I would, uh, again, I don't have a problem with this. There is definitely, I love to do all sorts of builds. Like it's it's not just about, it's it's about what showing you guys all different options, right? Because kind of like what I was talking about with GPUs, there is no one size fits all for uh, people. There are people who need cases. This has a smaller desktop footprint than a Mac mini. Um, it's obviously taller than a Mac mini, but in terms of just sitting it on your desktop, this is a 7800X 3D 4090 system with 32 gigs of RAM, two terabytes of storage. I mean, there's a lot of power packed into just this very tiny case. And so it's not, it has nothing to do with what I prefer. I'd rather just show you everything. So, and then the build that we're gonna build on Tuesday is in a 50, uh, like in a Corsair 5000T. So that's a massive PC that's all cyberpunked out and all that sort of stuff. And that one will have way more work that basically goes into that, right? And then the one that's on Thursday is the, <coughs> oh, wow, is the Montec King, right? And so again, completely different build. We're, we're gonna show you all the new cases. And then Tuesday next week is the, uh, the MSI, uh, the MSI uh, Project Zero stuff. So we, we wanna give you as many options as you can, yeah. Um, okay, let me get this up here. Let's get our deals and stuff up. Okay, there it is, okay. And there we go, 100 subs, guys. We're now at 100. It's it, dude, it's, it's a big case. So I'm trying to give you, like you guys, a lot of times what you ask for, I wanna make sure that you guys see. You know, I want you guys to see as many cases as we potentially can, right? That's, that's the whole point. Can we grab this so we can do this in and run our sponsor real quick and then we'll test it and all that sort of jazz. We still got testing and stuff, so it's, the stream's not done yet. Whoa, almost tripped on that. Uh, photo teaser, yeah, I can show you a photo teaser. You guys want to see the case real quick? We have a height Y70 build coming up next week. So here is the build that we are building. There you go. This is a teaser. This is the build that we're building on Tuesday. And like I said, we're giving this PC away. 
and we're giving away, uh, we're giving this PC away, and we're giving away a laptop on that stream. So you're definitely going to want to tune in Tuesday, starting at 4 p.m., uh, because we're going to be starting up, and this is a whole custom rig. Yeah. Yeah, because Tuesday you can win a laptop, and then this is going to be a Gleam giveaway. So. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you wanted to tease. There you go. Guys, we need more likes. There's 500 people here. Head over to, uh, head over to uh, twitch.tv. Sorry. YouTube.com slash RobyTech and go hit that thumbs up button so you can, we're, we're going to be giving away, we want to give away the other $25 new gift card. We'll give you a link, go hit the likes. And guys, for the giveaway, the 7800X3D we're giving away here in about an hour. Make sure that you are following on YouTube, you're following me on Twitch, and you are a member of the Discord. You have to be in there. Uh, for Fabit, I don't know for that one. But for the 7800X3D, yes, you can win. You just need to pay for customs and shipping. Okay, so let's say, for instance, you get done and you are building a P you get done, you finish building a PC like this and you want to get grab a copy of Windows because you don't want that uh, activate Windows thing in the bottom right hand corner. Well, you can head over to VIP slash CDKDeals.com because if you were to buy a copy of Windows at like Best Buy or at Newegg, it'd be 100, 150 bucks. But here at VIP slash CDKDeals, you can actually pick up a copy of Windows. Here's Windows 10 Pro uh, for $23.65. But if you were to hit buy now, and then what you did is you actually used code RBCK at checkout. So you hit RBCK. Hit apply. What was $23.65 drops all the way down to $16.55, which is a massive savings over $100. We literally have had thousands of people here within, uh, basically with here within the channel that have used that. And you can use the Windows 10 code uh, for Windows 11 as well, because you can just do a free upgrade. Um, so again, it's these, these are OEM. They are, they are legit keys. You can use them one time use, so they don't transfer like other keys do. But uh, still, paying 16 bucks for a key is a pretty massive savings over what you got uh, otherwise. The other thing too is if it makes it safe for instance, you want to kick up a copy of Microsoft Office, you didn't want to do, uh, you didn't want to do uh, Office uh, uh, subscription, you can pick up a copy of Office here. Usually it'd be about $250, $300. You can pick one here for $109.66. So safe for instance, we went and did that. And then again, use the same key, hit buy now, hit RBCK at checkout, and what was $109.66 drops all the way down to if it don't goes, again, RBCK, hit apply. 109 drops all the way down to $76.76, which is a significant savings. You're not paying the subscription fee and you still have access to Word and all that sort of stuff as well. So if you're a college student or whatever it was, just looking for a less expensive way to own a copy of Office, it's a good option there too. So again, check it out, VIP slash CDKDeals.com. Uh, you know, and if you have questions, feel free to chat. Uh, here in the channel, because like I said, tons of people here have used it um, if you have any questions. So, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you now, now they killed the other upgrade path, but the Windows 10 upgrade path still works. So, Scott, thank you very much for the sub. Okay, so last thing I want to tell you about is robytech.com. Uh, here is a great location for things like basically uh, people are asking, hey, if you want to buy PCs, you see where it says builds? That's what, this would be where we'd actually have the builds or the store. If we have PCs for sale, this is actually where you'd go to find them if we have pre-built that we have that are just sitting around and we wanna sell the PCs. So great option to look for that. The other thing too is setting up for the East, the Insider. Here's our Robitech Insider. So if you wanna know what's going on with Robitech, oh, I'm not, oh, I am on it. Hey, you wanna find out Robitech Insider? Is it, why am I so slow? You guys, okay, it is on capture, hold on. All right, you're good. The Roby Tech Insider, if you want to see all of our latest uh, videos that have come out, our live streams, as well as our giveaways and updates on the community, you can just head over to Roby Tech Insider and get all of that information uh, as well. And it's a great place to find any active giveaway. So for instance, when this uh, Cyberpunk giveaway goes live, being subscribed to the Roby Tech Insider gives you all that stuff so you don't miss when we're doing giveaways and all that sort of stuff. 
Last thing is DO build. So if you go here, robytech.com slash builds, and you're interested in a particular build, for instance, here's the Encore 100 Max, here's every part that we put inside of it, as well as a link to the video so you can follow along. And this is for every single build we do. So if you find a case or something, head over to robytech.com slash builds. It's a great place to find that information. Okay, so let's see what deals we got from Tom today, because this is always the last fun thing. Uh, ASRock Phantom Gaming RX 7900 XT, uh, 20 gig GDDR6, wow, 709. That is a great price for a 7900 XT right now. Uh, the ASRock B650 Live Mixer, so if you have a build that this uh, will look good in, uh, on sale right now, 149.99, which is a great price for a B650 board uh, and something that looks really epic. It's very, very unique. We've, we've used the Z791 before. Corsair K65 RGB Mini. This is their 60% gaming keyboard uh, on sale for $79, which usually this is like $190. It's like more expensive than that. So that's actually a really good price for this for this, uh, for this this uh, keyboard. Uh, MSI Crosshair 16, 144 hertz gaming laptop. This is with the 13th gen i7 and a 4070 and 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM, which you can upgrade. And there's the upgrade right next to it. Uh, on sale, $1199. I will tell you, man, MSI, so we've done a number of testing with MSI laptops, and I am very, very impressed with their laptops, as well as how inexpensive they are for what hardware you get. And if you wanted to upgrade those, Tom did a really good job. There is adding an NVMe drive, which is a two terabyte NVMe drive, and then also uh, 32 gigs of RAM, taking that up to about 13, 1400 bucks. Uh, and then you have a very, very powerful uh, laptop um, for gaming. So uh, really, really good deals. Honestly, if I had to choose the top deals here um, uh, from this, it'd actually be a lot harder. Usually I'll find like one or two, but in this one, I would say pretty much the, oh, it would be like an L. So as much as I love the K65, that's very, very specific. But these right here, these are awesome deals, especially this laptop with uh, these two upgrades. And then this is a great price for a 7900 XT. So Thank you, for, everybody say thank you, Tom. Tom does good work, man. Good job, Tom. Yeah, see, Demindred, Demi like, I, I'm, I've been impressed. We're doing a bunch of videos on MSI laptops. We just got finished, we, we just got finished with the review of their M16, their, sorry, their Prestige 16 AI Evo, um, which has got the new Meteor Lake CPUs in them. So I love their laptops. They're very, very good. So good job, Tom. Okay. Let's move on to testing and let's see how this bad boy actually runs, guys. That's, that's what people want to know. <clears throat> is it say 20, oh, it is 2023. Tom, you're losing your edge, buddy. Tom's posted 2023 deals. Guys, they're supposed to be 2024 deals. He's not used to upgrading the, he, he's, he's made, he'll get it fixed, guys. We found a bug in his. We found a bug in his, uh, in his matrix, his AI matrix. He's probably he's getting pinged so much. I'm wondering if he's just be like, what's going on? Oh, that one sec, guys fix something real quick oh don't worry we're getting there we're gonna get we're gonna do thermals and all that stuff in just a second we're gonna get there hold on I'm just all this stuff is all twisted up now there we go Just getting this untangled real quick, guys. Ugh. Stuff has all gotten like 
kind of wildly out of whack here over here. Okay, there we go. Wow. <sighs> Sorry guys, this is like, it like I'm a little worried that we're gonna pull something out, so I'm just like fixing this real quick. I don't know what happened, but it got pretty wildly out of control here. Okay, there we go. Okay, I feel like we got we got our lives back in order, guys. Okay, that was a little that was a little that was a little wild. Thank you for being patient. Yeah, I was I was being reminded because we're supposed to go to a studio, supposed to go to a studio here this year, uh, switching to an actual. I mean, like we've kind of outgrown our current location, so I've been reminded that when we do this, we have to worry about OSHA standards and all that sort of stuff when we go to like an actual um, business, like commercial space. Because right now we just have a, a massive house that we do everything in, and so it's like like this new headache that I now have to think about. So that'll be interesting. Guys, get the likes done. Hard hats, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is at a house. Yeah, we have a big, we have a big home that we're, that we have this inside of. Oh yeah, good. I got stuff out, much cleaner. Okay. All right, now let's get this plugged in. Plug it in, plug it in. Hey, what's up, buddy? Man, what's going it's like, on? Just got home. The video is like all of a sudden got really far behind. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get it plugged in. Get it all set up. Let's see how this bad boy runs. I'm pretty excited about it. Have you already pre-tested it in the case? Yes, we have. I mean, we've we've benched it and stuff, but we haven't. We know ne we never run thermals and stuff with this particular CPU. We did it with the we did it with the um, 69 this 14900 and all those other things already. But we, we haven't done a 7800X. Oh, never mind. He did test it. No, he did. So yes, this is all this is all good to go and ready to go. All right, there we go, guys. Okay, and then for the back, I mean the only thing we have to worry about, so for the for the side here, we just have the plug for this. This is gonna go right here. And then the GPU part is on the bottom. And it's got a lot of room, which is nice. So there's a lot of depth. So you don't need like bent GPU cables to basically be able to use this, which is cool. Okay, so that's it, all plugged in. Okay, three, oh, and the power button is right down here. Ready? Three, two, one. It is on. You can see the little Corsair, I mean the little Cooler Master on this side. And then on the other side, actually see the GPU kind of popping out there as well, which looks really nice. Oops. It's alive, yes. And the other thing too is this one, I mean, obviously the 2000D, you can actually do a 14.9 or a 7900X, 7950X in a Corsair 2000D because that's a 360 millimeter radiator, 360 millimeter AIO. This is not, so just be aware. 
Okay, we're waiting for the post. Waiting for the post still. Oh, I should grab my power and move this stuff real quick. Can I unplug something? Okay, so it is posted. I'm not getting any graphics though. Oh, no, it's still, it's just still training. Okay, there it is. Okay, and there it is, okay. Wow, that was a long train session. But there it is, guys, it is posted. And there we go. It is AMD. It is, yeah, it was AMD. I was just, I was, sometimes I just get impatient because I was like, dang, that was a really long time. Okay, so we are posted now. You did, you did say that. So it is posted though. So we're in there. Let's go and take a look. Okay, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and enable Expo. Everything else looks good, and then we'll restart. This will take a little bit. Well, it's 4,800 right now. It's, I mean, we just set it to 6,000, yeah. Okay, just waiting, because this will be patient. We're gonna have to be patient. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it'll be, it'll post, it'll post, don't worry. This takes a little while. Kevin's like, mine didn't post, so yours better not post. <laughs> He's like, it better not post. Well, guess what, it posted. There it is, guys, capturing now. There we go. Let's go ahead and pull in our, let's go ahead and do our display port now. Okay, so we now have all of our stuff. Okay, build is now fully up. Let's go to display settings. Go to duplicate, keep changes. I think we have a new driver since this did, so we'll just get it all updated and ready to go. Go to 2560 by 1440. Go to 150%. Okay, so there we go. Everything is all in. Let's go Steam. And then we're, we're gonna do we're gonna do our other stuff too. Don't get me wrong. Let's check our Nvidia driver. Bom, bom, bom. Okay, we're in it. Whoa, there we go. Hmm. 
There we go. Windows 11. Start. Okay, so we have let we're gonna let these download. Yeah, this just came out like yesterday, so that's why I knew I needed a new driver. Okay. So we're gonna let these update while we're waiting. And then let's download hardware info, CPU ID, so we can test this, see how it's doing. Man, I hate those kind of ads, man. There we go. Okay. Let that install. Let's check this one to see what we have for options here. GPU 2. Okay, we're just basically getting everything ready so you guys can see it. There we go. So we want, oh, not GPU 1. No, no, no. I want GPU too. This is why we check this. GPU two vid usage. Gee, I don't care about bus usage. I do care about memory usage. Care about core clock. I care about memory clock. Care about power, not power percent. There you go, fan speed, I don't care about that. Voltage limit, I don't care about that. CPU temperature, I care about that. There we go. We want CPU usage, because you guys care about that. CPU clock, we care about that. Oh, gotta wait, gotta wait. The best CPU in my house. Oh, I thought he thought, I thought he, like, I read that wrong, like the best CPU in the house. I was like, really? CPU power. There we go. Frame rate we care about. We care about frame time. Text and graph. So you guys can see that. Frame rate average. Okay, right, there we go. All right, so there's all that stuff set up. This is just finishing its little install stuff. Okay, let's, uh, so this is done, restart later. Let's install CPU ID, hardware info monitor now, and then we're gonna show you guys, we'll do, we'll uh, show you how hot this runs and why you shouldn't do like a 14900K in it or anything like that. Okay, let's make sure Cinebench is installed. Okay, there we go. Okay. Really dropping 10. What? Riddick dropped 10 subs. Oh, Riddick dropping his 10 subs. There we are, my man. Thank you very much, sir. This is fair. Why is this? Oh, for X. Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh, you're, thank you for saying, uh, thank you for saying happy birthday. Um, I'm looking for, uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for, Something and I forgot. Dude, I came over here for something and I don't remember what I came over here for. 
<laughs> I don't remember. I walked over, I did something, and I forgot why I came over. So yeah, that was good. Okay. I just want to let this download real quick. This is going to be small. And then I'm going to switch to a different Steam account. So that way we can show you some other stuff if we wanted to. I went there to find memory. What memory did I go to go find? Oh, night. No, yeah, thanks. I was like, wait, what memory did I go to go find? You were playing with me. Yeah, I wasn't going to find any memory. You were playing with me, pig. Yeah, and again, guys, just so you guys know, here's what we actually have inside of the build. So we have a Ryzen 7 5800, sorry, Ryzen 7 7800X 3D uh, for the, um, hold on one sec. We have a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, the RG Strix B650E-I Gaming Wi-Fi, the PNY XLR8 Gaming RTX 4090, Kingston Fury Renegade 2 terabyte NVMe drive, the Kingston Fury 2 32 gig 6,000 mega transfer dims, and then we have the Cooler Master in uh, Incore 100 Max, and then the cooler and the power supply is actually included inside of the uh, inside of the case. So that's uh, that's actually all built in. So, did we get a dad joke? Oh. Hey, wait, Riddick came in and then that was it? Well, hi, Riddick. It's still good to see you. Roby, you got uh, an individual that wanted to know if you would get a 6700 XT or a 4060. Oh, okay. So here's just the straight up question. What kind of games do you play? I, I want to know what games you play. And, and that's, that's really going to determine. I mean, if you want raw power for the price, the 6700 XT is the better GPU by far. But if you are worried about ray tracing and you play a lot of single player cinematic titles, then a 4060 might be the same, the better option. <clears throat> so, I don't know, you, I'm assuming BMOC, you're kind of in the same mind. Really just kind of came to the same one, right? Really comes down to what card you want. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's. A lot of it's going to depend exactly on what games you play. I mean, if you let's say you only play COD, then yeah, you you want you a 6700 6, XT. XT. But, yeah. But you know, just definitely. I mean, one person to the next can play totally different type of games. Some people play one or two, and some people try to play like a whole library of a hundred. So. Yeah, it really comes down to the games you like to play. I just realized something. Hold on, let me do something. Settings, downloads, uh, store. Where is it? Uh, Uh, there it is. Limit download speed. I think it's 50,000 kilobits. Okay. There you go. You go to capture. I was, I was like, why is this bad? But then I realized that's why it's bad. So now we should not have that problem. Door. I got some of those new uh, TL fans from Lee and Lee. Oh yeah. Not not the LCD ones, just yeah, the, the regular ones. ones. And they are fantastic. I got. Hey, uh, was that a play on words? <laughs> <laughs> but I bought the I bought the 120s and I put them on my AO in my in my rear. And uh, after getting them and seeing how nice they look, I'm, I'm replacing my bottom 140s with, with two of them as well. Yeah, the TLs are actually really good. The LCD ones are awesome too, uh, but the uh, you're not wrong, right? We actually have them on the system back here. The only thing is I gotta get one, one of my fans is like defective, so I gotta get that fixed, so. <clears throat> I, was, I was surprised how quiet they are too. I mean, I put them on full speed and it's just, you can hear like the, you can hear them, but it's not like full speed on other fans for the amount no, of air that they push. Yeah, they're actually really, really good fans. Yes, they do make non-screen TLs, yes. So 
So we're just waiting for this little update. Uh, let me pause this. Uh, well, it should be fine. Uh, it's gonna be, the, the temps are gonna be a little bit warmer, obviously, but I wanna show you guys this. So we're gonna bring this up. Let's bring up uh, hardware monitor. Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna slow down the game, the whole thing too much. All of a sudden it was like it needed to update the other stuff and I was like, dang. Okay, so here we go. So right now at, with, it's running at 67. Obviously Steam's running right now, um, which is fine. I mean, just understand it's gonna be a little bit warm. Uh, I just want to download the game, so, but this will give you an idea. We're going to really kind of stress it now. So there we go. Let's do multi-core, 10 minutes, and go from here. So, and then I'll, I'll pause it. We can do it one more time when we get there, but let's go ahead and go from here. I really like that, that uh, idea you brought up, too, with the whole um, DIY, doing some questions for people that want to do builds. Uh, sounds yeah. really cool. I want to have you guys in there as well. So yeah, that one is we're going to set the first one of those is going to be the first week of February. Just so you guys know, um, I want to have I was going to talk to the techs about this because it's something that comes up is just doing a stream. That's essentially our series of techs and then people can come in, sign up and then actually have us recommend and look at build things. So you just would have to submit a PC part picker. We would all open up the link and then basically give you recommendations on things to go and get it done. So. I think it's a cool idea. So I'm hoping, I, I hope, I know BMOC you'll be there, but we're gonna work around when the text can be there too. Thank you very much, Energy, for the sub. Guys, we're coming up. We're gonna be doing the giveaway here pretty soon. So probably within the next 20, 25 minutes. Uh, so if you wanna get in on that. Uh, looks like we're capping out at around, uh, we're capping out at around 86. Don't pay attention to the Cinebank score because that is also not at ideal given that we are running Steam at the same time. So uh, just, just as an FYI, uh, that is not something that you should be worried about. Once we, uh, once we basically, ooh, that actually capped all the way. It got to 89.1. Yeah, generally it's, it's somewhere around 18,000, 18,400 or, or so. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, right now it's, I mean, this one, like when we ran it last time, I do feel like there, we, this is what we're talking about. When they said that this case can run a 14.9 or a 79.50X, we were like, mm, no. So we know that when we talk about the tie-in for this, you can run a 7800X 3D. Gaming is gonna be pretty low in the, in the I mean, it's still gonna be in the 80s, like it's in the, low, in the high 70s, low 80s. Uh, but 14.7, uh, which also, if you do Intel stock settings, that's super important. It's not with MC or anything like that. That also runs fine inside of this case too. <clears throat> no, we will not see this in gaming. This is not the case you, I don't believe, and I think anybody who's watching techs or anybody would agree, this is not the case that you use if you're looking to build some sort of high-end, you know, render rig or even video editing rig. Um, I mean, it, you could still video edit on it, but you, you are gonna nerf its performance a little bit. Yeah, we're talk, talking about trying to get a, a high-end uh, land rig. Yeah, this would be fine for a land rig. It's kind of, it's still kind of big, like in terms of tall, in terms of height. Um, I mean, yeah, but I kind of like how, how it's built like that. It doesn't take up a lot of desk space no, for that doesn't. size. No, and it's and, and it's still, you guys have to admit, it is it is an attractive looking, you know, from a form factor standpoint, it looks good, right? Like it's, it's striking and they do have bronze and gray. So you can basically choose whichever one and you still get some of the RGB, like here, we'll just show you from the, the front here, uh, from the static camera, you still get some of the RGB uh, from the GPU shining through and all that sort of stuff. Um, so it is, an, it is an attractive case. And like I said, you guys saw, it took me less than an hour to build in it, right? Because just everything was in the right place to get it done. So which is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, Steve, you're not wrong. It, having something like this as a living room build or something like that would also be cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a very sophisticated minimalist look to it. It's okay. Blade of Ice says you can still call it a sexy case. It is sexy. It is it is a very minimalistic, pretty case. It's just it's important to understand, you know, what we don't we we know that there are people who will like these kind of builds. We're not telling you you shouldn't build it. All we want to do is give you the hardware that we would recommend for it, and then you guys can make that decision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's running warm, but uh you can see right here, it's it's hitting 89 pretty consistently. And then even then we're seeing some throttling 
on uh, the max here. Like our score is going down um, somewhat, but the other thing too is we're also downloading games, which Steam does take up some power here. So, cause when we saw idle before it was sitting in the 40, so we are, we are doing a little bit of a worst case here. Um, I will do another test here in a second. And then uh, once this finishes downloading, we'll do one more test to see what it, what, what it would run like without this stuff, so. I just didn't know, I want these to be updated so we can show you some gaming. Yeah, Steam is not, Steam is not small. Very still, for what Steam does, pretty impressive, but it is not something that, if you're gonna go and say like, what is my benchmark score? You need to shut kind of everything down to make sure that you're, you're giving it the right, you know, opportunity. So we're just gonna download the cyberpunk thing and then we'll uh, we'll give it a go. The AIO is a 120 millimeter AIO, but it's it's actually significantly thicker. So that's uh, it's not it's not it's different in the way that you would think about it. Um, it's it's got a higher capacity for cooling. Uh, it's just not as high as uh, Cooler Master says it should be. So. Which one was that figment? The, wait, you're not talking about the freaking geometric future. That was not a small build. That was a big build with a lot of pain. You're giving me like flashbacks of pain. Why do you gotta do that figment? Why? Why you gotta, why you gotta bring those, why you gotta bring back those painful memories? <laughs> What's up, Razik? Welcome. <laughs> Pain is a character builder. You're you're absolutely right. It was something. I definitely felt something on that one. Uh, how did we do in likes on YouTube? Why don't, while we're waiting for this, why don't we run a giveaway right now? We'll run the two twenty-five dollar new a gift card giveaways. So giveaway cloud bots, giveaways. So two $25 new egg gift cards up for grabs. Exclamation point new egg, uh, exclamation point community. Starting that right now, dropping, drawing two. Did we get 250 likes? I'm assuming we did. Blondie, yes, I'm pretty sure she said YouTube goal, right? Okay, giveaway is running right now, guys, while we wait for these updates. Stop this. <clears throat> Two minutes, guys. And we're still gonna give away, we still are gonna give away that, uh, we're still gonna give away the uh, 7800X 3D and we still have a $50 new gift card that's still up for grabs as well. So even when this is done, we still have more to go. Yep, you two gold reach, according to Blondie. Thank you, Blondie. Hey, Justin. 53 in YouTube. Huh? What did you say, B Mark? Uh, I was going to say, um, I was looking to try to find the specs for the fan on the cooling, and it just says custom fan. Um, could you d try to reach out to um, Cooler Master and see if they can give you the... Um, yes, I can. Static, we, the we, static... Uh, the static Stuff pressure the airflow for it? Yeah, 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 we can do that. It is a custom fan. I do know that. Okay, we got a dad joke, by the way. Now, another Roby from Figment. Dad joke. Phone out. Anyone want to buy a broken barometer? No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was good. That was good. Anybody want to buy a broken barometer? No pressure. Oh man, I wonder if that one actually like came up as somebody was like at a meeting and was like, hey, you know what I mean? Like it ended up working out. That's that's actually kind of funny. It's a funny joke. It's a funny joke. That's a dad joke. That's right, doc teacher, it is. It's community, exclamation point community, sorry. 
Exclamation point community. Guys, now, before we get to the 7800X 3D giveaway, make sure that you are following on YouTube, uh, sorry, subscribed on YouTube, following on Twitch, and you are a member of the Discord server, you gotta be a member of the Discord server. Remember, if you are a subscriber, you get three extra entries towards winning. So you could drop your Amazon Prime sub, that's gonna get you three extra entries towards uh, winning that uh, CPU. And then if you subscribe at tier one, tier two, tier three, that also helps. But that puts you, it gives you extra entries towards winning this PC that we're giving away at the beginning of February as well. Uh, and it's gonna give you extra entries towards winning the laptop that we're giving away on Tuesday, plus also additional entries towards winning the giant, the giant Cyberpunk PC that we're also getting ready to give away on Tuesday as well. So just a good time to get your subs in because you're gonna get extra entries for your giveaways that are gonna be happening. And there's lots of them. <clears throat> Congratulations to In Need of Temperance and Metafleur. Metafleur. You are the winners of the uh, 7800X 3D. Uh, sorry, you have the uh, $25 new gift card. Congratulations, you guys. Okay, so while we're waiting for the last like three minutes of this, I did wanna give you an update uh, on what's happening uh, over, the over the week here at Robitech. So we are back on Tuesday. Tuesday's gonna be the next stream. We're building that special partnership with NVIDIA Cyberpunk and uh, Origin PC and Blue Horse Studios. We're gonna be building a beautiful custom uh, Corsair 5000T Cyberpunk build. We showed it off a little bit earlier. Um, if you want to see that, it's also up on Twitter if you want to see the actual case and stuff. We're also going to be giving away a laptop 4070 13900K, 13900HX laptop as well. Uh, and that's going to be given away on stream. Uh, then on Thursday, we're going to be building in the Montech King uh, case that you guys have all really wanted to see. So we're going to be building an Intel build inside of that. Uh, along with the RTX 4070 Super. So that'll be a 4070 Super build. That's gonna be happening on Thursday. On Saturday next week, we're gonna be building that Lee & Lee Special Edition 0111E Evo uh, XL, uh, um, uh, what's the word, commission build. Uh, that's a 7950X3D with an RTX 4090 uh, inside of the Evo with all of the Lee & Lee trappings and everything else. And that's gonna be happening on Saturday. So that's the next three streams plus Friday. We're back with Intel Live. We're gonna be showing uh, the Montech King as well as uh, checking out the new, uh, the checking out the new Prince of Persia. So that's gonna be happening uh, as part of the Intel Live stuff. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, the, the Cyberpunk build is, is out of this world legitimately. Uh, it's a very, very impressive build. So yeah. And then guys here in just a, we're a minute and 44 seconds away from having this uh, basically finish here. So we're gonna run one more giveaway. Uh, this is a $50 new egg gift card. Exclamation point new egg now for this one. And then we have the 7800X 3D at the very end. Okay, so 7800X 3D up for grabs. Exclamation point new egg, sorry, $50 new egg gift card. Wow, Roby, you are gonna get yourself in trouble. So exclamation point new egg now. And remember, subs you get extra entries. Oh, wait a hold on. Hey Ruby, I found those stats by the way. Oh, what is it? It's got a it goes up to a whopping four point eight of a static pressure and seventy six CFM. Oh, okay, well, so you did find it. And it's, I, I mean, that's impressive for how quiet it is. I mean, you can't hear it, but it's not loud. Wow. Yeah, it's saying a max of 27 uh, decibels, which is pretty good. Pretty impressive, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the case is really RPM. cool. Is this what you're gonna put your land build in? With me? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stick with this uh, Cooler Master Cube. I'm still on Team Cooler Master oh, with the case. Oh, right, that's right, 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 that's right. <clears throat> okay, guys, nine seconds left on the other, on this update, and then we'll restart, and then we'll be good. By the way, has anybody checked out this new game that everybody's talking about? Uh, the new one that's, uh, oh my God, that's out in, 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 in early access? Blondie wanted me to tell you it's a $100 gift card. 
Oh, it's, oh, sorry. It's a $100 new gift card, guys. Regardless, it's a $100 new gift card. What is the name of this new game? It's got, it's like, it's a, it's a, it's like a RPG. What is the name of it? Pal World. Yeah, let's, I'm going to get that right now. Pal World. Slicing was playing it yesterday, I believe. Yeah, I know a lot of people are digging it, right? So we're going to, I'm going to pick that up. It's an early access game. I don't know if I need the soundtrack bundle, but. <clears throat> okay, we got it. How big is it? 20 gigs. <clears throat> okay, there we go. No more entries, guys. $100 new A gift card goes to Rurutu. Whoa, that's awesome. Congratulations, Rurutu for winning the $100 New Day gift card. Sorry, it wasn't 50, it was 100 bucks. Sorry, guys. Rurutu, congratulations on that. Uh, and uh, we're just gonna grab Pal World real quick. Cause I mean, it looks cool. So we'll, sh we'll check that out and see how this runs on this too. <clears throat> okay, so all we have left guys is 7800X3D. We'll do that one right probably pretty close to seven. So <clears throat> that's awesome, Rurutu. I love it. And you're relatively new, right? Maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I, I apologize if I am. So. <clears throat> yeah, I've heard like, yeah, so it'll be worth just checking this out and how it's running. It'll be done in 30, three minutes, guys. And then we'll reboot and go. Yeah, yeah make sure you whisper Blondie. Yeah, make sure you whisper too. Blondie. I'm not, yes, yeah, people are saying I'm not here. I don't know, man. I, but people are stoked about it. I know somebody, like some streamers have played it like 10 hours already. Like went like a whole day by doing it. I don't know how people are desperate for new games to play. Cause dude, we already have, we already have, we already have Prince of Persia. We have Enter the Dragon, Infinite, uh, basically Infinite Wealth, which by the way, loving, loving those games. So I'm playing uh, Enter the Dragon, y the Yakuza Enter the Dragon right now. And then you're like, dude, I had no idea these games were that awesome. And then we have Elden Ring DLC coming, but we have, uh, then we have, uh, yeah, dude, there's like lots of games. Yeah, I'm actually pretty stoked about it. So we'll download this, check it out, and then uh, go from there. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be pretty light with the benchmarks. We'll run Cyberpunk. We'll check out, uh, more than likely, we'll just check to make sure COD, run some COD stuff, and then we'll check out Power World, and then we'll call it a day. Who needs new games when you have Dota? I mean, I, if Dota's your only game, you need new games just so you don't commit suicide from just the really angry people that are in that. Oh yeah, Starfield. Oh, I don't have Starfield installed on this one. Usually I do put Starfield on, Starfield is not installed, and that is 118 gigs. That would take too long to download. Sorry, we didn't put Starfield on this for the first time. Solitaire? Hogwarts isn't on here either. This one was, uh, because of how we did the testing for this, this one didn't get the full rating of games. And honestly, I wasn't expecting to test this one. Originally, we were supposed to do the uh, Lee and Lee, so this didn't get as many games on it as I normally do. Uh, I don't know. I still really like Starfield, and honestly, I do know that DLC and stuff is coming out for it, too. <sighs> Pal World isn't very good. Really? Uh, no, I haven't tried a set of Corsa on it. I, I mean, I don't, this could be a great, a set of Corsa rig. And then if you did this as a sim rig, I mean, it should be fine. 
It's also nice and small, so it could you could make it match or even be part of your sim rig and make it look pretty good. Uh, Fabit, yes, more more or less, most 4090s are within two to three frames of each other. Yes, I have, Doc. We actually uh, have a, we're gonna be one of the first people to build in it. So we will be doing the 6500X and the 2500X here on the channel before anybody else. There's only gonna be, so we, you guys are gonna see it here first, and that should be in early February. So do not fear. Ooh. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna real quick put this in here because it just makes it easier. No, it's not a, a popular CPU uh, lineup, but have you got any word from AMD about getting one of those new APUs for a build? Yes, and I don't, I think it is a popular. I am very excited about those APUs, dude. I I am like I like the moment they got announced. Yes. So the eight it's the 8800, right? The 8800G? 8700 G. 8700 G. Yes. And I am like I I would love if I mean given what you can get out of Arc, uh I am going to I'm going to be super excited what you're going to be able to do at a 1080p system for like 400 bucks. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah, you could build you a nice uh a home gaming system without a dedicated GPU. Yep. Do yep. some pretty good gaming on it's, it, and it should do it should do pretty well. Um, I wanted to grab IQ. Sorry, I'm not grabbing IQ. I, you're, you're probably like, "Why? Well, there's a bunch. There's no. Why would you have IQ? Because IQ, I have a scuff controller, and I need to make sure that IQ is on this, and then we'll restart." I like scuff controllers. I don't. I'm not. I don't know if I'm the largest fan of the fact that this requires a uh, requires IQ, but I do like the controller. When does it launch? It the eighty six. When is it? It's pretty soon, right? I honestly do not know. Yeah. I mean, dude, it is the same APU. That's it's the same APU that powers the Steam Deck and the. Um, I mean, dude, you already have an idea. Look at the Legion Go, and I mean, it's the same Steam Deck. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's like the thirty first. Okay. So it's pretty soon. Okay, let's restart this and then we'll see how performance is without Steam going and then we'll check out some games real quick. Almost 600 people here, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, but the APU that's in the 7000 series is not the same. It's uh the the one that you the one that's coming out is the first RDNA three one. Yeah, the first so the first real iGPUs that have been that have been like that are, are coming with desktop is honestly the Arc ones that are in Meteor Lake, and I mean that one we were running Fortnite at twelve hundred by sixteen hundred at fifty frames per second, and we were playing. Uh, Assassin's Creed at 60 frames per second on low settings on an on an iGPU. So they like that's why I think the 8700G is going to be epic. I'm like I am. We are already planning a build trying to make it as inexpensive as possible. And the other thing too, and I I know Bmock you would agree with this, dude. It will be so easy to cool. So you're like you do not you could put like like just a really inexpensive cooler. Uh, on that thing and build something that is just like a great like 1080p rig. It's yeah, not going to be a thousand perfect. bucks. We're like, talking like kind of like a nuck for AMD. Huh? It's so kind of like a nuck for AMD. Yeah, it's like an yeah, and the, and the thing is is like that's those are, except for I mean nooks are still so and it it way cheaper right because nooks are still stupid priced, even the mm -hmm. even the Asus ones. Yeah, I'm just saying more more along the lines of like form factor and yeah. you can make it a way way smaller than even a you know a mini ITX system. Yeah, so we're we're already planning that. Absolutely, we'll be doing a build in that. I'm very excited for that because I'm trying to get it like three four hundred bucks, so which would be cool. Yeah, plus FSR three and you get and you get their you know they you get their version. What is it called? Their 
uh, frame generation. Ah, oh, dang it. It has a different name. Uh, yeah, that really long word. Yeah. They have a different name. Dude, he says no way that cheap. Uh, the, how much is the 8700G? Fluid motion frames, that's right, FMF. BTF, yes, we're doing that. We're doing that uh, in the next couple weeks too. 329, Ruby. Oh, wow. Oh, it's never mind. It's not as cheap as I thought it was. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it won't be 400 bucks. It'll be 500, maybe six. I think it's going to be 600 bucks. Yeah, so it's pricier than I thought. Sorry. I didn't remember the price. I, for some reason, I thought it was like 199. Well, you can get the 8600G for 229. So you figure like it'll be like something like a pop air it's like 60 bucks you know b650 like the most inexpensive b650 board you can buy because you don't need anything crazy uh you i mean a one terabyte nvme ssd which is 70 bucks um and then you probably can just use the integrated cooler and that's that that comes with the price so yeah But here's the deal, guys. I am going to do a $5,000 8700G build. <laughs> That's what you need to do. All right, let's take a look wow. at CPU ID now for real. Because, I mean, if you wanted to, you could make a 4K rig, right, that you could... Yeah, we're gonna do. Some, we're just gonna do the most ridiculous thing. Okay, let's do this. Let's see how it runs now. So let's stop Steam real quick. Uh, everything here is fine. Let's see what our let's see what our temps are. It's still running at 50. Let's see what crosses it. We got Cinebench Task Manager. CPUs at six percent, and most of that's it's in Task Manager. IQ is using a little. Okay, so that's okay. We're okay. We're good. So let's see how this does. Now we're in the 50s. Let's just see what multi-core does. <clears throat> wow, it's still hitting it pretty heavily. So even this one, it's having a tough time keeping this cool. Gaming, it won't be anything like this. This is literally. Not what this this build is about, but I still wanted to run it on a thing, uh, you know, under just load. Oh, Figman, I'm glad that I'm glad that that's we're doing that. I'm sorry that that sucks. I mean, it's down it's down clocking now. But see, there's that score that you were more that you were like expecting right there. Yeah, seventeen thousand right there. So again, much better Cinebench score because Steam wasn't taking all the overhead. But it's still hitting Thermal Junction. Or sorry, TJ Maxx, not Thermal. Well, yeah, that's still Thermal Junction Max. Okay, so again, if you're gonna, it, it isn't really for this kind of work, but let's see how it does in games. Let's open MSI Afterburner. There we go. Okay, so we'll start with something that, let's start with something that we just know is going to hit the, the GPU. This is always fun anyway, doing a 4090 is always fun on Cyberpunk. Yeah, we'll do, we'll, we'll definitely test it with patch racing and all that kind of jazz. We'll just do the regular version first, just to show it with DLSS, not with patch racing to show you what most people play it on, but this is absolutely the card that is capable of doing 
you know, patch racing and all of the bells and whistles. Yeah, dude, watching The Expanse is awesome. Love that game. This PC would not have that problem, no. No, you have to use the included one, Moboto. It's too integrated. This is not, this is not a build for that. This build is specifically, it really is a mini ITX friendly use case. Like you buy it, you put what you put in it, what you're gonna put in it and uh, be good to go, you know what I mean? Okay, let's give it a go here. It's the, yeah, it's the game in style, I like that. Okay, let's go to graphics. We're gonna go ray tracing ultra, super resolution. We'll put it on balanced. We're gonna leave frame generation and ray reconstruction off for now. Hey, they actually allowed you to do it without uh, on ultra now. That's new, so they must have fixed that. Okay, everything else is fine. Going to video, running 2560, low latency is on and V-Sync is off. Let's run the benchmark and see how this does. <clears throat> Make sure guys, keep hitting that thumbs up button though. Don't let it stop just because we're done. So here you go, 140, 133 frames at 1440p. This is not with frame generation, just with DLSS. Yeah, we're at 1440p, not 4K. I can run 4K too. Well, yeah, this is this doesn't have any. I mean, DLSS and specifically DLSS implementation inside of um, inside of uh, Cyberpunk has gotten better and better. And they're starting the sequel now. I want you guys to look right there at the, look at the amount of VRAM that this is using as well. And again, that is allocation. And this game is graphically more crazy than anything else in terms of that sort of stuff. So it's just highly optimized again. And this is at ultra. And so, and the game doesn't need that much either. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to settings. We're gonna go to patch racing. We're gonna do ray, re we'll turn on ray reconstruction now. We'll leave frame generation off. So this is like the best you could do, okay? So this is patch racing now. You are gonna see a dip. Now this one, you are gonna see VRAM obviously go up. So there you go, 84, 83, 84 frames. This is with ray reconstruction as well. So this is better than what you could get with a purely rasterized, this will look, this looks better than purely rasterized Cyberpunk at this point. Oh yeah, it looks very clean. And again, look at that frame time too. Exclamation point ray reconstruction. So 100 frames per second outside, which is pretty good. Okay, now let's just do last test and then we'll, uh, we'll call it an end on this one. Frame generation now.
This is just the fun of playing with a 4090. That's the thing, right? And here we go, with ray reconstruction and frame generation now at 146 frames per second. Not that it really needs it, but you could get it. Yeah, MoTub it is. And the other thing too is what it does, like there's a, we have a video coming out that talks about it. It's a short that shows the difference between and the things that it cleans up, specifically in games like Alan Wake 2 and in Cyberpunk 2077. And it's not just like the stuff that it does in terms of sharpness of shadows, uh, details in small places where uh, AI creates jaggies, etc. Ray reconstruction is actually really impressive um, from a lighting standpoint. Yeah, Blondie is known to take out people's drones. Gajal, it does look better than it will. Ray reconstruction with uh, ray reconstruction with path tracing looks better than regular rasterized cyberpunk. <clears throat> they need a let, they need an out, let Alan sleep. Okay, guys, so there is Cyberpunk 2077. I've seen you in a bunch of different, uh, bunch of different things there. 1440p, this, obviously this is gonna last a whole lot longer. Again, we could show 4K too, but this is very capable of 4K and 1440p. Uh, insane gaming with everything and every bells and whistles that you can throw at it. Let's check out COD. Because this is what loves the X3D. Yeah, Warzone on this should be really good. You gotta wait for Shader. You gotta wait for Shader's BMOC. This is BMOC's game right here. Yeah, everybody's talking about the cold. <clears throat> okay, come on, wow. You really have to watch that whole thing. They're like, you really, we need, we really want you to know who made all the game, all the people who made the game. <laughs> well, not for when, when we do, when we do, uh, when we do um, bench testing, we don't play in game audio. But when we, well, when we show, if we decide to do the, start with a P, Pal world, we might turn on in-game audio. <clears throat> People are talking about the Super Bowl. Okay, there we go, skip. Let's go to settings, graphics, 
We're gonna go to quality, change it to basic. We're gonna go to DLAA. We're gonna have any of that stuff off. DLSS is off. Okay, everything else looks good. Display, apply. We're gonna go to ooh, aspect ratio on VSync off. VSync and menus off. Unlimited, apply. Okay, so there we go. So now we have all of our frames. So we're going to wait for this. It's got a, it's almost done loading. Nobody's going to get anything because basically it's too cold for the Bills and the Chiefs to play, right? And then you also have the whole thing with the, uh, I mean, like it's, and then San Francisco is like, it's going to get rained. It's like everybody has like a bad, everybody's going to have like a bad game this weekend. <laughs> Talk to, look at the people betting. They're like betting on it. That's funny. Okay, looks like our stuff is loaded, guys. Let's see how it does. Benchmark. I think people keep saying the Ravens. It's going to be the Ravens. Guys, I want you to know I know nothing about sports ball, so I just like to repeat things. I have no opinion. <laughs> if I lose and they, my buddies have to get me an umbrella. Yeah, it's all, it, uh, Emma, it's all, all of the bill, all of that stuff is already updated. BIOS is updated, everything, yes. There we go. So this is 1440p, low visual settings, COD. That's, this seems fine. Did you say foosball is the devil? This is all me playing. Yeah, this is this was like they recorded me playing. That's how this is how good I am. So 258 frames per second. Looks like 150, 160 is your kind of if you're hitting your lows. We can let me just do some. I want to try something. Quality. Let's go to Fidelity Cast settings. Just want to try once one more thing. Because I think Fidelity Cast actually runs better. <laughs> Sergeant Nobody. Yeah, that's already, look, see, this is, <laughs> that's already much higher. <laughs> it's not as crisp, but. <laughs> it's 500. <laughs> Sorry, this is just stupid FPS. <laughs> It does look worse, right? Because it's not using DLAA, but this is how people would play. If you just want to maximize your frame, you could do 360 FPS. Mm. 
would be 10% faster. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's It wasn't like it's not going to look the best, but if you want the fastest frames. Okay, we're going to try one more. I just want to try this to see. Um, okay, let's see what happens. Oh, dude. It, did it crash? Oh no, okay, it's good. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Try it one more time with frame generation. Yeah, it's SFF speed. Let's see what happens. I don't know if this will actually work as well as I think it will. I don't think it will. I think the other way that I ran it would actually was actually going to run better. Yeah, no. It looks like the way that I had it before was actually better. Yeah, it is, seems to be running closer to just like stable 400. Well, there we go, guys. Call of Duty. All you have to do is run CAS. And there you go. 463. A little bit better from a consistency standpoint. But yeah, still very impressive. Very impressive. Uh, very impressive uh, uh, quality and speed there with the overall thing. <clears throat> okay, guys. Last game that we're going to check out here. Pow World. I don't know anything about this game. That's right, I took a break to celebrate. Uh, so yeah. So let's see how Power World runs on a 4090. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the music. I'll bring up the gameplay so audio so we can hear it. Okay. Hey, one, thank you very much for the uh, 1v skill. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Start game. Create world. World name. Robitex. Do firm on. Let's put a normal custom. Okay, whatever. Wow, so far it's running it. Oh, I need to check the settings, the graphics settings. We'll check that when we get in there. Oh no, I gotta. Okay, just give me a preset. That dude looks like me. I'm definitely not that dark. None of those work. Eye color brown. Eyebrow color. It's it's actually more of like a dark brown. Uh 
There we go. 64, okay. Air. That's not really me. That's not really me. It was like the one that we had was like the closest one, okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, start game. Yeah, he's like, he's got mad abs, doesn't he? We're we're obviously stuck at. We're gonna have to check graphic settings here in a sec. Options, graphics, epic, max FPS, no limit, epic, epic, epic. DLSS is balanced. Field of view. Why is it stuck at 60, though? Oh, hold on. V-Sync off. Okay. Motion blur off. Still, I mean, it's only 100. It says, pick up the fallen branches, guys. So 120 frames per second. This still feels like it's capped. You know what I mean? It says no limit, V-Sync's off. It's like just sitting at 120 FPS. That seems weird. Yeah, this seems capped. It feels like this could do more than that. We are like everything maxed running in this game is like we're at like max settings and it's like there's dude, there's still some it's still I mean like look, you're still getting some craziness. Okay, here we go. I saw for another note from another adventure. I can't manually set anything. There is some sort of, there is something, ooh, look, there's a, there's something blocking this. Like, it's capped. Yeah, which is weird. I mean, it says literally, look here. It's like it actually shows that you could be able to set. Maybe you got to go like this. I see nothing else that would. Make it. Let me try this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Something was capping it when it was in full screen. Sometimes that comes up, though. I got wood, guys. I don't think you're supposed to say that. <laughs> Check survival guide. Okay, here we go. No, that's guild. Where's the survival guide?
Oh, I found the PAL deck. Oh, there it is. Okay. Open the mill mini, build a primitive workbench, okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna put it right here because this seems like a good place. Okay. Technology screen from the, oh, there you go. Pal sphere, oh, you gotta make pal, pal spheres. Okay, so there you go. Now I can make a pal sphere and a pal box. Is this like, dude, I, I don't understand. This kind of feels like I gotta get wood a palladium fragment and some stone. This feels like Pokemon. How is this not like, how is Pokemon, like how are they not getting sued? The peep, the island is a living hell. Did she give me some basic supplies? Dude, I, that was like not like, I was not ready, I was not expecting, I was not expecting her to be like so negative. This world is a living hell. Be careful. She gave me some wood. We need stone. I'm gonna show us a little bit, guys, and then we'll we'll get we'll do the last giveaway here in just a couple minutes. I wanted to see this game, what this is all about. This is like Ark. Is that pal? Is that palladium? Yeah, there we go. Got some berries. So I can build a sphere. Do I have enough stone? Okay. Guys, my character is super hot. He's just awesome. Okay, let's go uh, build one of those things. I have unused stat points. Is that here? Wow, I got like all, I can build, I, bas I can basically can make everything. I'm amazing. Okay. I'm building a PAL sphere. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go capture a PAL. I'm gonna go PAL, I'm gonna go capture a PAL, guys. I'm gonna go beat up this sheep PAL. Oh my God, this is like violent. Come here, pal. All right. This is like, this is like mean. 
I just went and punched an animal. I feel really bad about what I just did. Poor Lambo. Like he just punched in the face. Oh, no, B. Too close to what? I guess I gotta go build down there, I guess. I don't know. I guess we're gonna go build our base down here. I feel really bad for beating up that pal. He just like punched it in the face. I was like, hey, pal. Poor pal. You build pal box. Accent and some of the power. I don't understand what that means. Oh, pals at the base. Okay. All right. Look at that. That's my pal. Sorry, Lambo. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. That's pal on pal world on this thing. As you can see, uh, it runs fine. I think you would see that there is no problem if you wanted to play Power World in on this PC. Oops. Oh man, I made the pal happy. Oh, I can lift it. Oh, I'm like, oh, I got, I'm carrying a pal. I just threw the pal. Build a... Oh, he'll go build it. Oh, so he can build for me. That thing is like no arms. How is it building? Okay, I got a club. Oh, you know what I need? I need some more pal things. Guess that's what I do. Go build me out of that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go beat up another animal. Oh, here's there's some pal palladium there. I don't know if I want the same animal. Oh, see, I want the chicken. Okay, I got some fragments. Give me a chicken, Chippy. Oh, shoot, I killed it. Sorry, I didn't mean to kill you, chicken. I killed the chicken. No, poor chicken. Feel really bad about killing the chicken. Chicken. Sorry, chicken. Oh, man, dude, this game is tempting. Okay, uh, let's see one other thing, and then I'm going to eat some berries. Okay, how do I use it? It says, oh. Oh my god, that, that dude, that takes forever. Okay, that does not help them. 
Okay, guys, look at what we've accomplished. Oh, shoot, why can't I... Oh, I need wood. Okay. So, anyway, that's the... Uh, that's the game. That looks addicting. Very much so. Okay, let's do the last giveaway. 7800X 3D up for grabs. It does have multiplayer. Yes, it does. 7800X 3D up for grabs, guys. We're going to be giving away a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D two minutes. Remember, subs, you get extra entries. Starting that giveaway right now. Exclamation point new egg now. Exclamation point new egg now. Good luck, everybody. There we go. That was quite the game. So while the giveaway is going, do not forget you need to be a member of Discord. You do need to be U.S. If you're going to international, you need to pay for the uh, you need to pay for the shipping and the customs. Except for if you're Canada or Mexico, that's fine. Uh, the other thing too is that uh, you got to be subscribed on YouTube as well, and you have to be following on Twitch, and you have to be a member of the Discord if you want to be entered to win. You have two minutes, guys! So exclamation point New Egg now on that, uh, and we're we're doing that giveaway right now. Two minutes. 500 and almost six. We had over 600 people here today. So thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the build. It was shorter, but still, we only ended about 30 minutes early because I showed Pow World. That game is crazy. Zeiston, by the way, I just don't know if you guys know this. Uh, Zeiston's already played for seven hours. There you go, Zeiston. We know what Zeiston's doing right now. He's playing uh, Pow World. So there you go. There it is, guys. That's a good. Fingers crossed. Good luck, everybody. Man, this build just like takes up like no room. That's the thing. And it's like it's it's light. It's it's not hot. It is warm up here for sure. You can feel the heat. I mean, just to get here, let me just show you guys this here. Let's do this just for fun while you're waiting. I'm going to see how hot it is. Congratulations to C Mixed. We're just going to verify that he is the winner. So just stand by. It won't take long. So don't leave yet. Okay, here we go. So don't leave quite yet. Okay, here. Put this down even lower. Okay, go ahead and stop down. You can see how warm, there you go right there. It's how warm You can see all the heat is right there at the top. 42.2 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm. And then if you go to the side camera here. So we'll do this and point at it. So you can see all the heat and where the heat is generated right there. So the top is definitely, you can see some heat there, but obviously there's your AIO and everything else right there inside in terms of the real world temperature and stuff like that. So that's your, that's your warmness, your warmth of the build. And then the last little thing you might be asking real quick as we now are verifying our winner. 
Don't worry, we verify tickets go. It's just with this many entries, it can actually, it can sometimes have issues. Did she verify that it was here? And if you guys want to just see how the air goes in this. So there we go, air, we're gonna get smoke in. You can see how the air basically goes through on this one. So it comes out of the side and the top. So that's where, essentially, it's remember, it's sucking air in from everywhere. So definitely see it on the back here. You go to the side view. You can see that air basically shooting out from the side. So, <laughs> Power Girl Game Stream. When? I don't know, man. Probably soon, for sure. So, hopefully, that shows you guys airflow and everything else, too. Okay. Did we verify Blondie is texting me? Winner confirmed. Okay. Anyway, guys, that is it. We are back on Tuesday for a very, very epic build, very, very epic stream. Thank you everybody for all of the giveaways. Actually, the crazy thing is, look at the, uh, look at the sub count, 117, that's my birthday. You guys, we got to my birthday in subs, so thank you very much for that. Super appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and uh, celebrating your, my birthday with you. Uh, we are gonna be back on Tuesday for the Cyberpunk build and giving away a laptop live on stream, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. And then again on Thursday for the Montech King and Friday for Intel Live. Anyway, guys, I hope you had an amazing time. Really appreciate you guys being here, and we will see you guys on the next build. Bye, guys.